today we start uh, Cult of the Keldor, episode 6. And with me today is a special guest, a very good friend of mine. Yes, a high oracle. There are fewer beds for you to break, sir. Oh, wait, hang on. That's not supposed to be there. There we go. You're finishing up work, so good times? Absolutely good times. But yes, fewer beds for you to break, Oracle. <laughs> because we've got good... No, no cat, no. Well, speaking of cat, my special guest is Catriel Bunn. Say hi, cat. Hi. Hi, how you doing? Good, how you doing? I'm not too bad, thanks. How are you? Good. I'm I'm very good. How are you? You just asked me. You also just asked me. <laughs> cool. <laughs> cool. Uh, so murder and <laughs> no, Oracle, leave it alone. So murder I don't know. And pooping are like three of my five favorite things. Ah, uh, anyway, two things on there twice. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we we need some good good vibes because we need to revive some of our members who have passed away. I, uh, okay, let me let me share it to Discord. I completely forgot about that yet. Yes, please. Thanks. Said I was gonna, and then I didn't. Okay, so imagine there's 80 people in a cult. That's what we're at right now. We're, we're not at 80, but we're there's a lot. There's a lot okay. of people. By the way, how's the PC been since swapping the round stick into the other slot? It Any seems to have been, like, better. Yeah, nice. Probably just, like, a little bit snappier. Yeah, yeah. Oh, stop! Poop! Are the toilets full? Yes! So, I played a little bit of this, but I only played, like, a little bit on Steam. Back now. Oh my gosh, I don't think it's working. I don't think Twitch is set up correctly. Hang on, hang on. Cause Oracle, can you give all those points back, please? Thank you. <laughs> Cause it does that th it does the thing. It does that thing where it's being stupid. Ah uh, boy. Okay. I do that too. Well, that's why we love you. Wait, that's why? Yeah, specific. I just it was in the, specifically that's why. Fuck. No, I was trying to work it. on that trait. <laughs> damn it. Great. Okay, now I've got to cut all my friends off. That's okay, Oracle. That's okay. Okay. Um, I think I gotta just straight up sign out and connect again. All right, does everybody see the cult extension again? Did it pop up for you or do something weird? Cult extension was when it made in high school. Oh my goodness. Oh, there it is. Okay, I think we're good. Dad, we're hungry. No, old Foz, you're not. Okay, I think it's working now. Here we go. Uh, Oracle, you don't have to refund those points back because they, they all work now. <laughs> if you've already done it, I don't care. <laughs> but it, you don't have to. But, okay. So, um, we are actually in the DLC stages. So, thank you for contributing, Phantom. So, basically, um, we defeated uh, the... I don't even remember their name. The one who waits. Mm -hmm. um, so basically, we defeated every single door, boss, and the actual final boss. Now, gotcha. we've got this little friendo, who we give uh, god tears to. And if we give them the little god tears, they give us a special item. Such as a new rule that we missed out on before. Or... An eternal life necklace. I think this is the eternal life one. Uh, no. Increased demon level. Okay. 
but basically they give us new stuff that we may have missed earlier. Gotcha. You can't raid me? Uh, I have it set that certain smaller streams cannot be raided. <laughs> like, if you have one follower, then people can abuse that, unfortunately. That's why I have it set that way. But, um, but now we basically have to do the whole thing again with harder enemies. So it's New Game Plus. Dad, I want real food. Stop feeding us grass and literal shit. Ofaz, the food is locked. Y'all aren't hungry. I promise. What? That's weird. Why is that weird? Pe people who are not streamers can raid you. Yep. Which is why I have yeah. it set up that way. It's, it's one of the easiest ways that someone controls stream. Yep. So, if you have zero viewers, you can raid someone, and that's why I have it set up that you have to have at least one viewer to raid. You, you don't even have to be alive to raid someone, technically. Yep, that's correct. Okay, so, um, these are the doctrines that we weren't able to pick from. So basically, when you chose left or right, you now can choose the right options. Uh, bribe follower. Oh yeah, you can pay to increase loyalty, or all cult members will gain the false idols trait, gain more faith when placing deck. Ah, uh, I'll I'll be bribing followers more. Are you dead again? I I I thought I saw you. I don't know. You might be dead again, but pretty sure I saw the hat. Huh? Maybe. I don't know. Uh, so Kat, do you want to try getting in here? You, you're on desktop, yeah? Yeah, I'm on desktop. Dead feed everyone poopy. No, Grace! <laughs> Absolutely not. Okay. So let's, let's get you a cult follower. There you go. So that should, uh, pop up for you. Are you in? I'm in. Alright. Bye bye. Catrail button. Sweet. Uh, Duck hunt. Catrail button. Call me. No. Ganondorf. <laughs> Mario. Catrail button has joined the fight. I'm, I'm looking for buns. You're looking for what? Is is there a bunny one? Yeah, there is a bunny one. Uh, it doesn't look like the bunny that I, or that Maki drew you. Um, the ears are straight up. It should be in the first area. There you go. Oh, look at it. It's got a little star. No, Oracle, you need to not vote Hinder. Oh, you cute little pink bunny. Okay, let's see how big a piece of shit you are. 15% <laughs> harder to level up. That's not bad. Because I'm cynical? That's that's pretty legit. That is actually. that is legit. Yep, there you go. We got Catriel. That's actually button. me. Yeah. Alrighty. Thank you for the contributions. Whoopsies. There's too many people, I can't even select the thing. There we go. Another tier. So we have all the furniture items now, and so we are just collecting devotion for those tiers and fighting boss for the tiers. Okay, and to open those other doors, we have to level up someone for sacrificing. Because those doors will sacrifice someone. So I've been making dumb characters. So there's an extra Ophaz, Jailbird, Nugget. I think we killed the other guy. That was going to be sacrificed, so. Uh, let's level up Nugget more. 
Remember to vote Hinder whenever possible, everyone. <laughs> nope, nope. Bad. Bed. Why, why is that bad? It, it's bad because if Hinder, then we can't revive dead friendos. But, but, but. No. If hinder then content. But it's bad because I can't revive a lot. So we've got Evil Fluffy, Marty Griff, Egg Eggy, Paula Jen, Oracle Bot, Yippie Kaye. El Brandito and Perfectly Pumpkin. Yeah, but you got like so much more room for grapes. <laughs> we d yeah, because people were dropping like flies, so I had to be quick about it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, speaking well, of then. revival. You know, it's it's supply and demand. If you dig it, they will come. Uh, I think it's Yippee Three. I could be wrong on that, but uh, here you go, Twitch chat. Feel free to decide who lives. There's a, there's a lot. I'll just wait a second. See who we can bring to life. <laughs> I love how Egg is listed as a gullible natural skeptic. The, oh my gosh, that is That's so so true. fucking funny. Like for for I've known Egg for literal years now, and it's a gullible skeptic. I'll believe you, but I don't believe you. <laughs> <laughs> it's it. You have no idea how much that fits, though. <laughs> All right, let's see who we got. We got what? No! Why? Goodbye, victim. No! We sacrificed victim. Gosh dang it! Wait a second, this might actually be good. Hang on, what level is Victim at? Yeah, yeah, 10 faith, whatever. Victim, come here, bud. Where are you at? Hang on, let me read your mind. Level one, never mind. It's not good. Or Oracle voted for Victim. Why did you vote for Victim? They don't help our cause. You didn't vote for any of the real people, you voted for... That's a really generous hour, considering you're the cult leader. <laughs> you know, because you didn't want me to. I don't want... There's so many other people we could have revived. And Victim wasn't even a gravestone. He was an actual sacrifice. Oh, I am... Oracle... Well, then maybe, maybe Victim earned it. Oracle just knows the exact button to push. They they know which one I I would hate the most. Shocking. Oh, actually, I yeah, don't... I I have a bot like that who knows exactly how to piss me off. It's it's quite a skill that moderators tend to be good at. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's it is odd. I think like oh I I know how to police this stream, therefore I know the line that I can stuff. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> it is literally left or right of that line. Oracle just dances all over it. Uh, there we go. Hi, thank you. Would you like to voice Midas? Oh, you are most generous. I would have taken half that amount. You really don't know how to negotiate, do you? <laughs> The well is at your disposal. Make as much use of it as your well. Me fortune be kind. Fuck off, Midas. He stole my... Come back in three days. He stole my money. <laughs> and I hate him. You know what, Oracle? I'm... I'm... Alright, Oracle. Alright, Oracle. I hope you're happy with yourself. <laughs> I hope you're happy, Oracle. I hope you're happy. Magnificent! Bravo! Bravo! Sadly, this is the last piece I have. Thank you for helping me to grow my little collection here. You are indeed a most generous and gracious lamb. All right. That was the last thing I needed from Midas, thank goodness. 
Oh, where am I missing one, though? That's... I'm missing one. Oh, what's this guy want? Bottom dweller he was, muck-eating prey. Sparkling gold one day found amongst the dregs. Lost by a pirate with many legs. Pretty shiny price for all. They all want, they all want. They all want, nothing remains. Blood washes away in tide. He waits, waits, and then takes. Even muck eaters have teeth. There is no help for me now. I've never seen that before. Okay, hello, friend. <laughs> Uh, I'll be right back. I'm going to grab a drink. Alrighty. <laughs> they do look so sad, I know. Well, I mean, they are sad. But I had to, despite Oracle somehow, so we literally sacrificed the one she brought back. I know what you say. You, you repeat what you say. I thought I brought you all the eyes of the witnesses, but I guess I, guess I gotta do more. Yeah, Oracle, I had to kill him right the frick away. Because <laughs> I was so mad. <laughs> I'm so upset. Had to go bye, bye, bye. No! Are you kidding me? I was just about to go on a crusade. Come on. Ugh. All right, vote good so we can get the revives. Nope, we need revive. We need a revive. Do not hinder, only do goods. Please, we need to revive. Well, look, people are gonna get resurrected. No, well, <laughs> oh, go, oh! What? <laughs> Oh, to be completely fair, that is probably the best option anyone could have chosen for Hinder. <laughs> but yeah. Did you help? No, that was not the revival I was looking for. Thank you. <laughs> the others were die or lose a level. Uh, level wouldn't have also been bad, but like, wouldn't have been appreciated, I suppose. Die would definitely not have been appreciated because we want more people to live because some people are missing out. It's really hard to run a cult full of dead people. It really is, yeah. Yeah, that's how that works. Alright, and you know what? I'm gonna... I'm gonna do... I'm gonna do a good thing. Here we go. More turlets. Because I feel like that'll be good for some people. And, you know what? Better turlets. So y'all are gonna have poop machines. Alright, let's actually go on a crusade. Wait. Um, let's see. I want to see if Cat is a good one. What are you? Shoots a projectile at an enemy every few seconds. Cat, would you like to join me on a crusade as a demon? Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> yeah. Why not? Wooshy wooshy. There we go. Yay! So I basically just spit at people. You do. That's fine. There we go, and a quick level up for the throwaway character. Okay, Dad, you're gonna go. <laughs> Thank you, Grace. Yeah. I hope I hope you actually help us. I would appreciate it. Thank you. I just I just noticed that too slow as a title, and that's really funny to me. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> also, in his PNG, like, we made him much more, like, shiny, his shell. <laughs> Come here, Nugget. I'm gonna give you a bribe. Uh, yeah, there you go. You, you should have also drawn it in the Keldor Kini. No. Oh, wait, is that 500? No, that should be 100 without a limit. Give me a second. I'm gonna fix that. 
bribe you to behave. Uh, wait a second. Wait a second. Oracle, aren't you streaming? Or don't you have like a mega stream going on? You are streaming right now! <laughs> are you si Oracle! You- No, you've been streaming all day. You are still streaming. I just realized this. Because I saw you streaming earlier and you've got like that big mega stream that you're doing right now. How dare you? <laughs> Oh my gosh, Oracle. I love... Oracle, I hate you and I love to hate you. How's that sound? <laughs> you are an amazing human being, but you are the worst human being. Okay, I saved the channel point, so now it's unrestricted. Could you please reconsider? Think of the children. Beauty. All right, now I'm actually finally going to go out. If no one dies in the next five seconds, I'm going to leave this place. All right. Perfect. We're gone. Someone died. No, Oracle. There we go. Okay, go follow Oracle. They're, they're a good friend of mine. <laughs> and a very active mod in my channel, and you'll see them all the times, especially on Sundays. And you know that they think you're a good streamer when they come to your streams, even when they're streaming. So, uh, Kat, question for you. Yeah. Um, where does your username come from? Uh... Well, my first name is Catriel, mm -hmm. and I, 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 my old nickname used to be Rabbit. Oh, Bun. So Bun. So Bun. Like if I was a furry, I would be a rabbit. <laughs> you know, like. You know, it, like I'm not, but if I was. <laughs> yeah, like straight up, I've had like not really anything to do with that culture other than knowing some people. Yeah. But and I like, know which way I'd lean if I got involved, you know? <laughs> right, like, like Sam, like, I would be a cat. Like, it's the same yeah. concept. Like, I, I'm not, but I would be. I hate the hammer. Ba -ba -da -ba 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 -ba. What was that? Sorry, I, I put out a message on Facebook and then I put the link in. Oh, okay. There we go. I just the link Would you like to be Klenek? Klenek? Uh, nah, you go for it. Okay. Sister Kamek's madness was foreseen in the first of the cards drawn by her own kin, as I have always done. Is destiny the grave which must be pursued, or the force which drives one onward? Come, let us draw once more. The first card, a beacon. The second, a shadow. The third, something lost, or perchance taken. Card inverted, it must be sought. The cards speak, a relic calls, yours to seek and to claim. Hello, Ender, welcome in. Ender. Oh, um, so there's, uh, I came across a group recently, mm. um, which is exactly what I was looking for, uh, which is a group that gets together. Uh, by amateur voice actors um, and indie developers um, and independent like film producers and webcomic producers yeah. that are looking for voice actors that can't necessarily afford voice actors and also voice actors that are like have some free time but aren't necessarily looking to like 
you know, get really deep into it immediately whilst building a reel. Yeah. So it's 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 like quite a nice resource to like pair people up. Yeah. Um, that is nice. So, uh, yeah, if you're interested, in that, I'll send you a link over to it. Please um, do, because I, I still want to keep yeah. doing that. Because I had literally, like, last week sent a message out to Sam from Tributary Games and being like, so, where might I be able to just get my name out to a bunch of indie game devs that might be looking for voice actors but can't necessarily afford one? Because I'm willing to work for free just to, like, get my name out there. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, and uh, I hadn't got a response yet. And then came across that by chance on Twitter, like, no. Oh, that's, that's the thing that I wanted. That's, that's it's like, like it's listening thing. to me. <laughs> it probably is. Yeah. Uh, the one time the algorithm has done me good. Oh, right, right. <laughs> the rest uh, of the time it just tries to sell me butt plugs on Wish. Oh. Based on recent search history, right? No, it's just Wish only sells <laughs> butt plugs. Oh, okay. that is also true, yes. Yeah. And same with half the items on Throne. Like, I can't find anything but butt plugs, you know? <laughs> Yeah, when I when I looked on Throne, I did see that like the largest category was the adult category, which sucks. I mean, it's cool, but like also help. I wanted to use this. <laughs> I mean, I mean, you can still use those things. If no, I don't want to. It. I don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So I got another question for you. All right. When did you realize you wanted to become a streamer? Uh, or what made you realize? Um. Hmm. That's a question. It is. Um. So I think like I I always wanted to get involved in content stuff. So like I used to do video editing when I was much younger, with, like After Effects and things like that. Uh huh. Um. And I, 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 like, skipped straight over the basics and went, like, right to the complicated stuff in After Effects. So I used to, like, do scene edits in After Effects and mm. then chop it all together using, like, Windows Movie Maker. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so I, I always wanted to do some stuff like that. And, like, initially it was, like, I always wanted to be a YouTuber. And then as time went on, I realized, like, the scope of setting up a YouTube channel and actually making it like any kind of viable source of income. Yep, um, the algorithm is ass. Yeah, and then, like, I, I started playing Jackbox with friends at home, um, yep. after seeing a couple of people play those. Yeah. Thought that was interesting, um, and then, like, I just kind of thought one day, like, well, I want to play Jackbox, but people aren't here. Surely that's a thing that people stream, and that's literally the reason I went on Twitch. Right. Uh, and, yeah, like, I, one of the very first channels I went on was uh, Pablo called an X. Oh, he's yep, been on, yep. like, a, a real long break, and uh, pretty soon after that, I'm pretty sure I came across Tipsy. Um, and it just kind of went from there, really, where I was like, oh, I think I could do this. Yeah. Um, and I, I did stream Jackbox a couple of times, um, but like I, I was already like fairly well well known around the communities I was spending time in because like, I played a lot of Mad Bus City. Yeah. Um, so like, I do write music and stuff anyway, so Mad Bus City was like right up my alley. Right. Um, and yeah, I guess from there, like I was just kind of like I think I could do this thing. Yeah. Started looking into the software and stuff. I was asking around and asking a few questions. Uh, committed some massive faux pas whilst learning even just the fucking etiquette of the space. You know, um, whilst trying to figure everything out. But I, I had some good people around me that were patient with me as well. Yeah. Um, and yeah, that that, that kind of helped and. I don't know. I, I never really had like a realization where it was like, that's it, I want to be a streamer. It was just kind of like, yeah, I think I could do that. And a so, like, you wanted it and then you got I it. Uh, kind of, yeah. Like, you know, I just sort of like witnessed it and it was more of a case of like realizing that that's a thing that I could do. Yeah. Um, Viable. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. 
Like, and it, it's it's interesting how much you can do with screaming. Um, like, it's it's really like multidisciplinary. Yeah. Uh, you have to be good at several things to be able to pull off a successful scream. Like, you can be good at the technical side of anything, but if, you, if you're if you not entertaining, it's not gonna work. Oh, also, um, welcome in, Raiders. Hi, Aspire. Hi. Speaking of Spires, how is Slay the Spire? I know, I know that was what you were playing. I was lurking earlier. How you go, how you doing, guys? How how was stream? It was good, good. That is also a very good game. I do enjoy. How goes cult? Cult goes good. Grows stronger every day. I'm pretty sure you're still alive, Aspire. So that's count your blessings. Uh, I'm sorry, I interrupted. What did you say, Ken? Uh, um, so, yeah, it's, it's just, you have to be so good at many different things. And it's like, uh, as we're doing it, I've noticed, like, which skills I'm actually good at, uh, which things I need to work on. And also, I mean, like, working with mob, uh, realizing that if you're working with other people, you don't necessarily need to get really good at the things you're not so great at. Because yep. there's plenty of people who aren't so great at some other things, too. Oh, for sure. Um, and it's where, like, trading skills can be really useful and working in a team to be able to, like, bring something bigger together. Yeah. Um, I mean, like, so far as a streamer, I've also been, like, a writer. Uh, yeah. Like, a production manager, like, all, all kinds of fucking crazy shit. Um, just on what I thought in the first place was like, I'm gonna play video games and people will watch. <laughs> yeah, that was my initial thought coming into it too. Yeah, yeah. Like I was like, oh yeah, I would just be like funny while I play games, and it's that simple, and it really isn't. No, it's um, not. The the amount of marketing that has to go into like seeing bigger numbers on stream as well. Yep. Um, like yeah, you, you do get some luck from time to time, but, like, that luck has to be combined with, like, something that's hooking people into the stream in the first place. So there's always either some effort gone in in the first place, or there's, like, simply the experience and effort that people have put in throughout their lives in order to be able to have the confidence to be able to just openly speak to people ah! and be able to just draw people in with personality, you know? So, there's... There's effort gone into it at any point, even if it doesn't look like it, because the experience that leads to being able to do those things in the first place, like, that's yeah. all, might not necessarily be for most people what they planned on using the skill for, but yeah. It's all, uh, learned abilities, really. I'm just looking. Okay, is this the old one or the new one? Oh, wait, that's the new one. Oh, Foz, your, your duplicate is getting sacrificed. <laughs> I'm so pissed. He's one hit from death. That I, I am so pissed. I had to sacrifice someone just to kill this guy once. Ugh. So angry. I hate it when you have. Yeah. Don't you hate it when you have to sacrifice somebody? to kill someone else. <laughs> yeah, we got... Yep, yep. Ow. Makeshift... Makeshift weapon of, of another person. Alright, um, you are exhausted, so you go to bed. Yeah, I think since streaming, though, it's like, it's just generally been a good incentive to be creative. Yeah. Because it's really difficult to get your art seen. Yeah. It's just really tricky to, like, actually get it out to everybody. And, like, especially if it's something you do want to make a career from, and it's like... I, I, I would like to make a career out of like the music that I do and stuff. I don't know exactly how viable it is, but like 
without the the financial backing of people who are able to like pay into marketing uh pay into studio renting and stuff like that like it's really got to be like a slow incremental independent process to be able to make that happen oh, of course. and I, I think streaming is definitely like one of those ways that you can build a loyal following um and have like a very direct connection with your audience yeah. uh, at the same time as being able to like get very live feedback on what you're doing mm -hmm. also a few people so, i forgot to say hi to hi shiro and hi uh hi limo hi limo we know limo yeah limo is an asshole <laughs> How you doing, Lola? <laughs> no, I love Lola. Oh, yeah. Lola's awesome. They seem pretty awesome, besides the fact that they wanted to kill my best friend. Yeah. 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 It's okay. They're still alive, so that's 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 good. All right, yeah. Aspire. Thank you for coming so much. Uh, Cat, if you wouldn't mind, would you shout out Aspire? Absolutely. Oh. People happy. Appreciate it. Yeah, we are in the post game. Yes, yes. Cat, did you go to bed? You did. Okay, good. Oh shit, it's a button PNG. That it is. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a bun. Bun. Bun! Alright. Uh, defeat Clunko and Bob. Okay, so I gotta go gamble real quick. Actually, I gotta... I too slow. It's too slow there? Nice. Oh, speaking of too slow. Poop. Fuck off. <laughs> now I'm going gambling. Okay. I see where I'm wanted. All right. Come back home to grab something. <laughs> Tuzla's just like, no, get out of here. Like, I'd already looked in the chat, so as soon as you said, speaking of too slow, I knew exactly what was coming. Yeah. So when I saw you, like, stopping to see what was important. <laughs> Beauty. <laughs> I want to get rid of his two because two can stay because it's a very low number. Threes? I don't like that. Does Cat have an adorable little cultist? Yes, they do. They just made it this stream, too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. She's so pretty. Oh, yeah. Get rid of those threes. Get out of here. Nerd. Oh, no. Where Ratao? Oh, uh, we don't talk about I have that. No idea how this game is played. Uh, it's basically. I can't describe it without making it sound more confusing. Basically, same row, get more of the same numbers. If enemy has that same number, it deletes that number. Gotcha. So see how he has two fours? Yeah, so he plays the four against rid of the fours. Yeah. And then it adds a multiplier the more you have of a specific number. Right, the so the multiply is better, but it's also that they can be destroyed in one turn. Correct. Gotcha. I might win by default if he doesn't take away anything. Never mind. <laughs> oh, one, thanks. Oh, stop taking my shit away. Take my one away. <laughs> Aha! I have one. Easy. Sounds like a Charlie Brown character. Okay, Dad. 
<laughs> oh, Sean has died of old age. No. Oh, not another one. Not another Oracle. one. Caillou. <laughs> Caillou, yep. Uh, the most beautiful thing I've ever coined in Tuslo's channel. <laughs> Yep, rip the Sean. Can we get can we get a help? Can we get a help and not a hinder? Too slow just standing at the entrance not doing a fucking thing. <laughs> I thought I answered that, but yes, um Cat does have a adorable little character somewhere. <laughs> This pink squishy boy. Oh yeah, that's right. You sleeping? Oh wait, no, you're not sleeping anymore because that was. Did the that day pass? Surprise oh, surprise me if I was. Right there. Yeah, you saw yourself probably. Yeah. All right, no more of that. Okay, we're gonna go on a crusade after I grab this. Yeah, cat is a bug. That's correct. Let's see if I have any more tears to, to do something with. Alright, uh, what level do we need? Level 4, actually. I think we've got one. Love Seat's level 4. <laughs> Love Seat was my nickname in high school. I, I figured. And then what was this one? Level 7. Yeah, we only have a few level 7s and I'm not sacrificing any of the good boys. Hello, Escalante. Thank you for redeeming metaphorically nothing. Just getting seeds for the garden. Perfect. Uh, another crusade. Oh, wait, no, I, I forgot. God, cheer. What? Do not act the fool! A god may not be foolish. When? What if he's called Waluigi? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Did you name him? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, what is that? What's up, giant enemy bird? How you doing, man? Has no effect, or does it? Oh, that's right! Oh my gosh! Oh, dude, we're, we're about to do... Does your cult offer health insurance or sad hand job? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's just a, a crapshoot as to which you get. Yeah, yeah. It's like when you join, you either get health insurance or a sad hand job, depending on, like, what's in stock. Speaking of, uh, enemy, are you... I mean, chicken. Um, are you at a computer at the moment? All right, we need a revival. Revive. Or reset cooldown so we can revive. No, help. You need to help. Help me. Help. Help me help you live again. Yes, let me know when you are and we can in indoctrinate you. Okay. Come on. Come on. Do good. No, what? Stop it. Gosh, dang it. Bodies popping out everywhere. Let the bodies hit the floor. Let the bodies hit the floor. Uh, I can only count to four. <laughs> Gosh dang it, dude. Resurrection, but the Dollar Tree version. We have the Resurrection at Home. Resurrection at <laughs> Home. <laughs> Wait, did someone say they were ill? Yeah, one person got ill. What, what the heck? Shadow Sywin, what are you doing? Go bed. Go bed. Uh, oh, Faz, level up. Oh, yeah, and uh, 
I don't remember how to say your name, but did you want to jump in the cult? I don't remember if you were able to last time. Or if you are Ren Freaky. Hi, Birdman. <laughs> Where's my buddy? There he is. Nugget. Or Zach, that's right. Zach, did you want to also uh, join the cult? I don't remember if you got in last time. Nugget is adorable, yes, but Nugget is one of the, the sacrifice characters. <laughs> Nugget is fodder. Fodder cannon. Me merely a pawn in Keldor's mass manipulation game. <laughs> you join? Okay. Let's do. Um, have you ever played the game Cult Simulator? Cult I Simulator. have, and I couldn't get into it straight away. I don't know why. I love it so much. Um, so... I, I played it a little bit on my laptop when I first got it, and I enjoyed it. Um, but then when I really got into it was when I got back home and played it, because yeah. I just fully zoomed out the game and played on a 4K TV, hmm. and just sat in front of it with a mouse and keyboard. Yeah. And when I was when I played it that way, and I could just keep an eye on where everything was on the board at all times, yeah, I sat and played it for like eight to nine hours straight. Gosh damn. Um, yeah, it, it gets really deep as you get into it. Because um, the whole story and the lore is just, like, told through cards. Um, but, like, as you read through the descriptions of stuff, like, the implications of what's going on is pretty crazy, and you can take it, like, multiple directions. Uh, no, Escalante, we do not have cookies, but we have grass. Would you like some cooked grass? Because I could, I could make you a bowl. I mean, I've had a few cults that do that. Um, I mean, occasionally they, we also have muffins. A different kind of grass. We uh, also have muffins sometimes. Uh, Zach, d were, Zach, you able to do it, man? You, you doing it, man? The little bar's not moving. Muffins? Yeah, occasionally. Occasionally muffins. Who wants a muffin? I just want to die. I just want to die. Somebody kill me. <laughs> Bro, I'd matter for this cult. Zach, are you able to get in, man? So, uh, you done it? Oh, it might be glitching. Hang on. It broke it you. It broke? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hang on. There we go. See? I, I remember that glitch. No, I remember it. I remember it. We're good, bud. We're good. Oh, you just go back and hit it again and it updates? Yep. Huh. That has caused me so much trouble before. It's the pog face and I love it. It's so silly. I think Snake was my nickname in high school. Of course it was. Can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. There's too many people in the way. Let me. Ah! Hey, you. <laughs> God damn it. Why's this cult got so many members? Who thought that was a good idea? Oh, speaking of which, I'm out of cultists. We actually need to go out and do, <laughs> do a thing right now. <laughs> <laughs> I literally have used all of our members. So I need to actually get more. Uh huh, Cole, uh huh, yeah. Cult with many members is my nickname in high school. I believe that's called a harem. Um. <laughs> you know that in like five years' time, Ender's just gonna have a harem of twinks. I don't know that. Yeah. There we 
go. Actually, an orgy? Nah, an orgy's for a day, but a harem's forever, you know? Oh, well, I yeah. Mean, it can be for longer than a day if you got good stamina. Alright, everybody, get ready to revive some peoples. Now, choose. Please don't choose victim. Or please don't choose the sacrifice characters. Please choose an actual person. <coughs> the thousand year orgy. <laughs> Measured metrically, that's a kilo fuck. Oh. Please choose an actual person to fight Oracle. Yeah, I, I, I don't know Because we don't want to repeat a victim who just dies five seconds later anyways. Because I will sacrifice that motherfucker again. I will. I will do it again just because. Hey, we got Pumpkin. There we go. Look at that. Pumpkin, come back. Hooray. So when you bring somebody back, does it empty the grave that they were in? Yes. So you will notice now that this yeah. grave at the end is now gone. Cool. Yeah. I do so. Poop. Stop it! Is it just predetermined? To you said that before. Ah! Uh, he hasn't done it again. It's just repeating. I this is the game telling you poop face now. Gosh dang it. Alright, let's get some more uh, followers. Just integrate chat GPT so it learns how people talk. <laughs> and then starts talking like them. Alright, and one more guy too. I, uh, I found a way to turn chat GPT into a lie detector, which is not supposed to do it. It's supposed to refuse to do that, but I found a way. Interesting. <laughs> yeah. You, you have to get it to assign a confidence rating as to how deceptive or um, genuine language being used sounds. Yeah. Oh shoot, and, I chose the wrong. Dang it. Do that. Oopsies. My outfit is, my outfit makes it so that I, you know what, I'm just leaving. The outfit ruins the game. <laughs> I, I feel that sometimes when I go out, I'm like, yeah, yeah, this outfit is just, no, I gotta go. <laughs> yeah. Alright, let me change outfits. <laughs> Keldy Weldy is poopy whoopy. No! I don't have. I don't know. Keldy Weldy is got stinky winky. I, I don't! <laughs> no! Yeah, yeah, get we we need more followers to do the special thing, Zach. We we need more followers. To do the very special thing. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of it. Yes. I was about to ask if it's good, but then you said you 100% um, No, I hated it, but I played the whole way through, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, it was amazing. It's one of, like, I know every time I talk about a roguelike game, it's one of my favorite roguelike games, but it was actually one of my favorite roguelike games. I, I think you just might really like roguelike stuff. Oh yeah, that, that's weird how that happens. Yeah, so, so sometimes I, I think, you know what, maybe I should be a roguelike streamer. <laughs> yeah, I tried picking it up, but I couldn't quite get into it. Really? Um, I, that, that's probably like my aversion to like Cultist Simulator. Yeah, so like, when, when it comes to um, roguelike stuff, I prefer like, just the, the, the feeling that you get from like, um, the, the same kind of stuff if it's, if it's, if it's like Slay the Spire or Inscription or something God. slower paced like that. Um, it's, it's just Where you like don't feel rushed. Them. 
Yeah, uh, I think that Hades probably made me feel a bit rushed. Like, Binding of Isaac I like, but I think it's just because I got used to Binding of Isaac quite some time ago. Yeah. Um, Binding of Isaac is great. I, I didn't mind Call of Glam when I played it on Steam Deck, but I did find it, like, really easy. Um, well, it isn't like, anymore, trust me. <laughs> Yeah, like, I had it on the hardest of the full two, and I was, like, just making it through a bunch of the combat with taking away hits and stuff, and I was yeah. like, ah-ha. Uh -huh. Summon um, a demon to assist in battle, yay! Which is, is probably why I didn't go back to it, to be honest, because, like, I, I probably needed it to pace a little bit harsher and give me a bit more of a challenge to stay interested. Yeah. Ooh, there's a guy right there. Uh, so. we can go he here, we'll go here. So I, I tend to put games on the hardest difficulty when I first play them and just gauge it from there and go, okay, do I need to turn it down or is this good? <laughs> Makes me wonder, did you put Hades on the hardest difficulty? Um, I can't remember. Hmm. And don't even remember it having difficulty. Because if, so. you, if you did, it is kind of ass. <laughs> hmm. Little asinine on the hardest difficulty. Yeah, I can't remember. But regardless, it is it is a game I absolutely loved. Someone say yes? Yes. Yeah, it's, it's how I know a game's got longevity as well. Like, if I put in a game on its That's hardest difficulty and it's like, oh, wow, this shit's impossible. I know it's got, like, a really good difficulty curve where, like, you can play it on the easier difficulty and you're going to want to play it through on the harder difficulties afterwards. Yeah. Um... But yeah, whenever I pick something up and play it on the hardest difficulty in the first place, if I'm just like breezing through it, I'm kind of like, why bother with the rest? <laughs> right. You know? Yeah. Like, well, if I'm gonna be good at the game, I'm gonna get good. Yeah. So, uh, I just completed uh, Rash and Plank Rift Apart. Um, and then, like, did the challenge mode on the hardest difficulty in about yeah. eight hours. And, Dang. It, yeah, it, it was it was a good game, but also, like, I felt like just having played the previous games, like, when you're innovating stuff, shouldn't be the, the entry for the hardest difficulty. Right. Um, <laughs> hmm. Kind of like the sword. I don't know if I want the EX. That's a hammer. Uh, critical or summon a ghost. I can't remember that. Did someone say ass? <laughs> yep. I... Alright, so here's another question for you. What would be your all time favorite video? Or, well, actually, let's. Would you like to do Clunko and Bop? Uh. Sure. Okay. <laughs> Lovely! What a night for a wander. The air seems different. <laughs> Bop and me, we were just taking a break from Dice for the night. We'll head back to Ratow soon. <laughs> He's a good rat, Ratow. Took me in and bought when we had nowhere to go. That's why he was a great leader. Loved by all. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you are too, of course. <laughs> Making me feel guilty about Ratow. Oh, beat rice. Then don't do it, man. Welcome in. <laughs> did, did you kill him? Um. Hey, look, flowers. You killed him. Too. No, 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 flowers. Yeah. Kill murder. Don't know why I was doing the point. Listen, man, you can't beat the game if you don't kill him. That's, that's all I'm saying. Uh -huh. he, he had to die. Listen, I wouldn't have gotten the last puzzle piece if, if he didn't. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah. Not a... No. 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 Floating along behind. <laughs> yeah. 
That depressed look. Time to put an end to this frivolous masquerade. Time to put an end. And this. That's Lashy. Love Lashy. He, he's doing a bit different since the description. Yeah, a little bit. Still the same color, though, green, you know. Alright, Leshy 2 is much harder. <laughs> he plays a bear. Um... <laughs> yeah. Ah, uh, ooh, ah. Uh. Gosh dang it. If only you could hit him with a stunt. <laughs> then he'd die immediately. Yeah. Yeah, CO3 would kill him instantly. <laughs> without hesitation. little cutie. Look at him. <laughs> Look at how cute he is. <laughs> like, they literally just give you Leshy. It is adorable. I love it. <laughs> it's a little Leshy. Is that a god tier, god tier? Or just a regular god tier? Uh, they gave you three god tiers. That was like your little bonus. Little bonus is <laughs> Little bonus was my rapper name. <laughs> Sunday has died of old age. No. Ah, damn it. I got stuck into a reading loop. There we go. Oh, now it unlocks. Yes! I was just thinking about that. Enter once daily, while mortal time stagnates. The blasphemous souls of purgatory may be X, B, A, X, F. <laughs> For as long as you wish or survive, time will stand still in this world. Your followers will need nothing of you while you venture there. And should more god tears find their way to you, well, while Luigi awaits, you may enter purgatory. Yay! <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> All right, let's go fix Sunday. All right, there's Sunday. Someone tell Sunday that they're dead. <laughs> tell them that they've died. Remind them. In introduce Leshy. I will in a minute. I gotta admit, I gotta see if we've got revival right now. Because I don't... Yeah, it's on way cooldown. You got Sacrifice, which I think I'm gonna... Alright, this guy is gonna be another Sacrifice follower. I don't know. A little kangaroo's cool. Color, bright yellow so he stands out. The variant, he's got a 5 o'clock shadow. Name will be Bop It. Bop It. His name is Bop It. Hey, hey, Zach. I, I've played the DLC before, man. You don't, you don't have to explain it to me, man. I, I've completed this game 100% on Steam. <laughs> 
I, I, I tend to do that when, when I like games. So here you go, buddy. A really cool necklace for you. No reason at all. <laughs> no reason at all. No reason at all. Give me one second. We're about to do a ritual for uh, Bop It. Twist it. Pull it! <laughs> Send him to hell! <laughs> Purgatory! Bop it! <laughs> and bop it. Hello, my friend. And goodbye. There he is. Remember one of the waits who's guard? Or one of the wait. The one who waits guard? This is AIM. You want to be uh, AIM's voice? Buck! Stay back! I will slice your belly open! I will cast that crown from your head! What foul place is this? Moments ago, I was... I was... So we've got a new friend that we tried to kill us before. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, hi, I love fam. how, like, quickly he calmed down Aww. and was like, Black foul beast, what is this? Oh, okay, this is fine. Uh, hi, Phantom. Thank you, Phantom. Love you, too. I want to make a special beds for for all of like the special special characters. Put them like right over here. What? We, there's one. Then there. Then there. Then there. I'll do it here. I'm gonna need to make more gold though. So I'm gonna put all the special characters that we get, so like all the NPCs in the game from there to here. That way they have their own little special bands. Oh yeah, speaking of which, let's get let's get Leshy in. I I cannot see! Where is my crown? Lamb! Damn lamb! I know you are there! I smell you! What has become of us? Leshy! Uh, I didn't get you killed. You just kind of, like, um, got old and died quickly. That's just how that works. <laughs> that happens sometimes. That is. And that is how the cookie crumbles. Just a spot of death. Alright. Let's see who we can get in here. The one who waits first, then we'll get aim. Who should be the last-ish. A likely story? No, 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 listen. You did. That's how it worked. It is. I promise. And then, the Leshers. There we go, now they have their own little special homes. All I really wanted. Um, frick. Nugget, don't go to bed. No. Wow. Ah, he went to bed. Nugget, don't go to sleep. Ah. All right, I'm waking you up. Suck it. Inspire. Oops, slipped and murdered. <laughs> oh, whoopsies. Oh, Sunday says your little cat's adorable. I'm glad you like my buns. <laughs> Here's a small gift for you. Ah, oh, stick. How about another gift? There you go, bud. Oh, it's a cookie. Who was asking about cookies? We have cookies. Woo, Satan cookies. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, there's there's the official cult of the lamb plush. 
did I tell you I got I the, thought it was a voodoo doll. <laughs> I got the official uh, Cult of the Lamb Long Boy. Nice. It was very funny. And it's hilar it's comedic comedically large. It's hilarious. <laughs> Was comedically large your nickname in high school? It was not, thank goodness. <laughs> Yay! Alright, and. Uh, we seem to be good, so I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna head out. Oh, wait, you know what? There's a follower quest that I need to get done before. Someone killed me over it. Oh! I almost left! Gosh dang it! I could have avoided this! I'm so upset! Alright, what's about to happen? Don't wake everybody up to poop, please. All followers have been cured. Oh! Well, how nice! Nobody's sleep deprived. You didn't click hinder fast enough. Ha ha! Suck face. Well, that that's just a good positive note that we can bring to the to the cult of the kill. Was anyone sick? Yeah, two people were. So it actually did help, Oracle. And off we go again. I think uh, if you pick this game up again at some point, I think you'd actually like the free DLC that came out. Yeah, probably. It, it really does add like a big modicum of difficulty to it. Another, oh yeah, the question I didn't actually finish asking. What's your all-time favorite video game? Uh, that's a difficult question. Uh, Can you name a couple like that you do enjoy? Lots of games for lots of reasons. Yeah. Um, hmm. So I think one of my like, all-time favorite series, I'm not sure if I have a favorite out of the, the three games in the series, mm -hmm. uh, is the Dreamfall series, or the Longest Journey series. Oh. Um, that was really good. Um, and, like, so the first one's, like, point and click. The second one's more sort of, like, third-person RPG. Mm -hmm. uh, and the same with the third. Um... And it's probably just because there was like so many games between the releases, you know, they kind of uh, point and click wasn't really as popular a style after that. Yeah. Um, yeah, they did a really good job with the story on that. Um, I, I was like hooked on it. It's one of like one of my favorite things that I've ever streamed. Um, but I, I, I don't know. It was. Else. I mean, like, I, I love the Russian Clank series, and the Chapter Daxis series. Um, so, overall, you're a big series fan of games. Um... I, I like something if I can get a lot of content out of it, and you can't always do that in a singular game, you know? That That is truly fair, yes. What like, the... It, 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 it'd feel too much if all of the events of, like, those trilogies were in a single game. It really would, yeah. What yeah, kind of like, uh, genre of streamer do you consider yourself? Uh, definitely variety. Yeah. Um, but also, like... You know, I really like leaning into doing the group streams and stuff like that. Yeah. Um, so, and I, I, I want to change things up a little bit more. I, I want to 
not necessarily just do video games. I've got some ideas of some other stuff, but when oh. I am doing video games, I want to like change that into as like much interactive stuff as possible, or yeah. just like try and make like the presentation of how I'm playing the video game in some way unique. Because mm -hmm. like you know, anybody can sit down and play a video game. It's like, how do I turn it into entertainment? Right. Uh, I, I want to really like try and focus on doing that rather than just sort of like being okay. I'm playing the game, and that is the entertainment. Uh, you know, how how do I like integrate my presence into the game itself? So, you know, even if it's just like you know, how am I present on the screen? Uh, Uh, that's that's why I want to change my setup around as well. Like, I want to be able to stand more when streaming. I think that like being able to get up and stand is just going to be like a, a good incentive for me to have more energy. Yeah. Um, I can be more outlandish if I've got more room to move. <laughs> that's fair. And you know I've got, I've got a fancy old camera that will like track me around the room now and stuff. So it's it's going to be a lot easier now that I've got the tech that just makes those things. God. Much simpler to pull off. Yeah. I do still want to get a green screen, maybe. It's as good as the background subtraction is from Nvidia. It's it's not quite perfect for some applications. I know, I know that. For sure. I do enjoy the green screen myself. Yeah. Um, I'll probably get. Like, depending on how much room I've got once I move my room around, I'll probably uh, get a ceiling attached one if I can pull down. Hey, that's what I got. Nice. Or, not really like a pull down, I have to put it up, but it hangs from the screen. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, I, I want to get one, because you, you can get like roller ones that you screw into the ceiling and just pull down. Yeah. Um, I know it's a little bit pricey, but like... Generally, to get a good green screen that's actually going to interact nicely with lighting, yeah. you have to pay a fair bit of money anyway. So Unfortunately, the premium, yeah. of how, the premium of how much extra it is, it's like, when I look at where I'm really saving money, it's going on the quality of the screen, too. So, they look pricey, but really looking into it, like Elgato's pull-down one, it's really not that bad when you do a bit of digging into, like, why a cheap one's cheap. Right. Yeah. Right. So I, I remember when I was younger, I tried to like set up a blue screen, um, and I, I literally just used like a blue roller blind, and I couldn't understand why it was working at the time. Because as much as I understood at the time, it was like, oh, I just need this color as the background. Yeah. I didn't realize anything about like luminance and color uniformity and like absorption and all that kind of shit. Mm -hmm. I just assumed like the color would be the color, but of course you get massive variance depending on the camera and the light source. Right. right. And good quality screens eliminate those variables. I, I'd, I'd also be interested in like setting up some like programmable lighting stuff. Yeah. Um, so that I can like set the scene more with things, have buttons to like change lighting schemes in the room. But it all gets very pricey very quickly, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. Um, it's it's why I want to like get better at coding stuff as well, because like LEDs can be so fucking cheap. <laughs> and you you can just get like strips of LEDs and connect them up to an Arduino and then write some code to be able to make those buttons yourself and you produce something for like 30 pounds that would usually cost you a few hundred to have it all integrated and ready to go, you know? Yeah. Uh, yes, Scuba, you are still alive. Oh, hi, Dad. Lamb, this is not a favor. I do not need your charity. But when my dear brother, Nar... I always forget how to say his name. Narinder stuck us in... Struck us in his fury, my eyes were torn from the socket. One was salvaged and hidden in the tangled dark wood. I despair at the thought of it being uncovered by some simple-minded beast. You have navigated my realm once before. Do so again and recover my eye. Perhaps we can make an arrangement. Let's do it. How much did Oracle? F uh, not really much at all. She hasn't had much power yet. 
Like, really, all she's been doing is making bodies pop out of their graves. That's pretty much... That's pretty much it. So, Oracle's been doing good today. Oracle's been doing real good. There's Nugget. <laughs> Let the bodies pop up from the floor. <laughs> Cat made that joke earlier. Oracle did help and not hinder. No, they did hinder, but then they uh, were kind of forced to. So, who do you think is going to win in the fight between Elon Musk and Mark Zuckerberg? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Let's see if we've got a revival in there. No, come on. Not even freaking close, dude. There we go. Alright, where is Nugget? I don't see him. There he is. Level up. What do you enjoy streaming the most, Cat? Um. Like, uh, like doing the collab streams is kind of my favorite, really. Yeah. Uh, like, meeting new people and just like. I like the ridiculous, funny moments that can only really happen when you're streaming with another person. Oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, it, it's something that I really liked uh, Monster Prom for. Is that I found it was good, like, conversation fuel as well. That's why we got derailed so much when we were playing it. Yeah, um, that's fair. It, it's, it's just really good at, like, sending you on tangents and stuff. Uh, there's a few games that I like that, you know, like, Undertale's been one of those, I think, where there's plenty of talk to talk about whilst playing the game. Yeah. Um, you know, e even, like, uh, the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog, like, that even had, like, plenty of ridiculous stuff to comment on whilst we were playing. Yeah. And I, I, I just, like, honestly, like, I like joking around with people and i don't know i guess sometimes like i i prefer like when i'm playing a game with somebody and the game is really fucking terrible uh in certain bits because i absolutely love like ripping on bad writing yeah <laughs> all right uh i recall lashy prior to yourself he was the last to bargain with me adept as he was he rose quickly to the challenges of godhood, aided by his siblings. Many were drawn to his chaotic ways. Alright. Wah! That's a neat looking necklace. <laughs> Have another one. Another one. Another one. There we go. But, uh, I have so many acoustic pads around my flat right now. Um, because I, I need to clean up this room and move everything around before I actually clean them up. Because I don't know where they need to be until yeah. I arrange them properly, really. Yeah. Um,. So that's going to take some time. <laughs> I can imagine, yes. But yeah, after that's set up, like, my room's basically going to be a recording studio. Yeah. Are we there yet? We are not. I really liked having the Elgato key lights as well, because even just having them in the corner of my room, I now have lights that I can control with my phone from my bed. Yeah. So... <laughs> 
I can just turn lights on without having to get up now. That's great. <laughs> it's the simple things. <laughs> it's the simple things that make the world go round. Now there's a 15% chance that a follower will poop instantly. Oracle pooped instantly. Of course it was Oracle. To be Oracle. fair, like, yeah, I, I understand that. What are you feeling on Taco Bell? Uh, berries. Apparently they didn't like, gosh dang it, that was a lot of 15% that just got hit. <laughs> Does the follower shit in the woods? <laughs> if nobody's around to see it? Well yes, because I saw it. Water food. Uh, what up, Ophaz? Dad, we're not fasting anymore. We're hot. I just fed you! Literally just fed you. I, ju I just fed you. Calm down. Um. Hamburger. Hamburger. Well, it looks like a hamburger. Oh, so I, uh, I asked Ender about this as well. Because um, when we're playing Undertale, we've gotten so far into a pacifist run now. Yeah. Um, because chat managed to keep that way. I think I'm going to get rid of that poll for the next one. Yeah. Uh, and we'll just go through pacifist. Because then it also leaves us the option of, like, do we want to go back and play neutral? Right. And the other route. Uh, <laughs> yep. The other route. I definitely will cry if we do the other route. <laughs> yeah. So I, I think Brandito is really into it too. Um, which I, I knew he would be because it's so uh, influenced by Earthbound. Advice guy died! Oh no! Not again. Should have taken his own advice. Ah! <laughs> 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 No more advice. That's it. I mean, yep. I'm just gonna make poor decisions forever. <laughs> no more advice. Alright, I'll let, let Solomon deal with that and then. I face much advice in him. Let's get a new thing going. <laughs> Need my bad life advice for Dean. <laughs> Perfect. I, th I think that's my favorite redeem, where I literally just come up with the worst possible solution to a problem. It is good. Uh, all cult members will gain the industrious trait and increase their work speed by 15%. That's not bad. Intimidate a follower to slightly increase their loyalty and make them work. No! I like the trait, where they all just yeah, suddenly yeah. work. Like, it's passive. That's awesome. I don't have to do anything for it. Yeah, it's on everyone 15% permanently, rather than one person 10% for two days. Right. Because that's Wait, stupid. That's, that was really a no-brainer. Yeah. Like, like the age... you like lots of awesomeness forever, or a little bit of awesomeness for a little while? Listen, it's like the age-old question. Like, would you rather have unlimited bacon, but no games, or games, unlimited games, but no bacon? was kissing? What the fuck? Someone was kissing. <laughs> oh, thank you for your contribution. Ooh, Twitch spin. Can we get a follower? Can we get a follow? No, we got a rock. A lot of rocks, but... I thought you said a rock. Um, like, uh, a no, we don't country. have that yet. Oh, hi, Yippie 2. How you doing, bud? Uh, can you do Yippie's voice real quick? Lita, my brother and I were traveling together through Darkwood and were separated. I never knew what became of him. Do you think you could find out? Um, I think I have to go back there anyway, so yeah. That's actually quite coincidental. Hmm, we don't 
have the sacrifice ready yet either. We we need a cooldown refresh. Hey, hey, do, do the thing. Refresh my cooldowns, please. We need it for a lot of things. To revive a follower and to sacrifice a specific follower. Please. No, do not hinder. Please help. Help me. Help. Help me. Give a gift. Uh, no, you don't. You don't need those. Wait, can I inspire you? No. Go to bed. I'm a no, off us! Yay! Ritual cooldowns! Hooray! I'm gonna wake everybody up. Come on, <laughs> we're doing it now. Doing it live! Oh, that one's not done. Oh, because it's... Okay, got it. That makes sense. Alright, well, y'all don't get a decision on this one. Sunday <laughs> is getting revived. Appar I forgot that I married Sunday as well. So that's fine. Uh, and then we're going to sacrifice. St strategic says sacrifice. Uh, Hamburger. Oracle, you got your grandpa back. There he is. Master, aim! What is this place? So much color. So many creatures. Master? So we've got his full guard back. Uh, yes, I married Aspire, or I married Sunday while Aspire was still in love with them because apparently Aspire had told um, Sunday about all the things I did for them and they fell in love with me instead, apparently. So that's what happened. And I broke Aspire's heart. <laughs> yeah, Aspire was. Uh, Aspire did a little bit of a dumb thing. Okay, now we're going out on an adventure. <laughs> hey, cat. Ender, no. Ender, no. <laughs> Ender, no. Oh, Ender, no. Ender, no. Question no. for you. Yeah. What are your streaming goals? Like, what? what's your end game? Oh, well done, mate. Okay, how about a little bit before that? What, what, what's the, what's the before end goal? The pre-end goal? <laughs> Um, mass subjugation. Okay, how about before that? L l let's rewind a little bit. I'll just have some fun. Oh, just to have fun? Uh, at first, and, and then the world domination. And then the world... Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> nah, uh, so really, like, my, my main goal with streaming is, like, I just want to get into the swing of things enough and like get experienced enough that I can quickly put things together when I've got ideas yep. to be able to keep up the originality, give people interesting entertainment that they find worthwhile enough to want to be able to support me yeah. so that they can have more of that. Like I want to my entertainment to provide enough value to people that they'll name their own price for it and have that price high enough to be able to sustain me. Yeah. That's it. I'm not looking for a fucking lavish lifestyle or anything. Uh, it'd just be nice to be able to support myself by doing creative projects. Yeah. And I want to get good at doing stuff enough that I never have to ask anyone for money. It simply just speaks for itself. Right. You know? Um, and that, that's kind of the way I see it. Is it's like, I'm, I don't really do like... Uh, I, I don't do like subathons or anything like that. I've never like set aside much time really to be like, hey, I'm, I'm raising this exact amount of money. Like the the only time I did that was for when I was trying to pay for like a specific backing track, you know, for for a song I was recording. So like I don't go for like an individual goal, but like 
to to raise the money number just to raise the money number i feel like um you know and it's like no shade to anybody who does this everybody does stuff a different way. <laughs> myself but, yes. I, <laughs> I, but I, I i feel like the the way that i approach things is like if i if i do a subathon then it uh -huh. kind of feels like the income from that is like yeah it's short term but it doesn't really like represent where i'm at with my goal which is having a sustainable income from streaming yeah you know like i i can put a bunch of time into streaming for like 18 24 hours burn myself out and really push to try and get a bunch of money yep. but, but realistically how often can i do that right you know and i I'm, I'm more interested in like trying to hone my skills to be able to just slowly trickle an amount of money through that's able to sustain me mm -hmm. and do that in a way that's like beneficial to providing everybody. something that people want yeah yeah yeah, I mean, I, I you know, be beneficial feels somewhat grandiose because it's still just entertainment, you know. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I've not got any grand goals of like, oh, I want my content to help people, and I'm gonna like create a community where everyone feels comfortable. Like that, that's a nice idea, but I think that that's a lot trickier yeah. um, than th people give that credit for. A lot of people like want to build a nice community, but really, drama absolutely breeds where you've got a bunch of people. There's no way that you can police everybody. Like, like that. Um, nor would I even want to really, you know, like I can have a place for people to hang out and be like social and stuff, but yeah. realistically, like I, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm there to help my friends. I, I like doing like the education stuff that we do for mental health. Um, and we, we like set up support and that under like a sense of duty and responsibility really. But if we're opening the door of mental health conversation, we at least need to give some people some time to talk if like it's something that's affecting them also. Right. Um, but I, besides like helping people sort of create their own communities by meeting like-minded people in that space, like I, I don't really want to take on the responsibility of like, be, being a hub for that kind of thing and taking oh, yeah. that responsibility. Um, you know, I, I've seen some people do that. I've seen some people do that kind of thing well. I would sooner, you know, help people like match make with like banded friends that they can receive mutual support from. Yeah. Uh, especially because it, it's simply just not sustainable when you actually get to the kind of scale that I'm going to need to be at to be supporting myself. Right. So it, it's simply like a trade-off choice that I've had to make as well, you know. Like, if this was more of a hobby to me and less of a career prospect, then I could maybe approach things that way. Do you have any life plans? life plans uh so like I i'm talking like bigger life goals like not just like oh i, pl I plan on uh, eating a sandwich tomorrow um i mean honestly no really like it's it's basically like my stream goals and my life goals are highly integrated together that's fair you know? oh my god uh, that's the thing. There's loads of people who say like uh, like life before stream, and I always find that like really alien. Actually, I, I know for some people that that's a useful statement because like some people need to put down the hobby and focus on the real world shit. Right, but, but this, when it's not a on, hobby, this it's... really is my real world. You know? uh -huh. like, <laughs> exactly. Because because for a lot of people like you know they're they're working and they're doing stream as a hobby. And, like, a lot of people streaming, like, they're doing decent for themselves, but, like, they, they don't have a desire to go full time because they don't want the amount of stress that's involved, like, by making content when, like, they're capable of working and doing things that way. Which is honestly uh, fair. That's fair. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Um, like, you can have this as a hobby. It does not, does not yeah, have yeah. to be the end goal. Yeah, of course. Um... But for me, that I I know I don't cope well in those work settings. I I know that like you know because of some of the mental health issues that I've got that I really do need to be able to pick and choose my own hours. Yeah. Um, it's I'm just that kind of volatile where like routine doesn't work well for me, and it's really difficult to find any kind of like employability that I think can happen. Yeah. Um, so st stream is like really a saving grace for me where it's like you know. Like, 
the finale and I'm taken care of by like the disability system in my country. It's not ideal. I yeah. don't like having to rely on that. I don't like the lack of security that I really feel yeah. within that. And uh, that that's why I want to pursue creative product, projects and stuff that like feels meaningful to me. Um, and where I can somewhat set my own hours to be able to sustain myself because I, I don't want to rely on some kind of social system in order to be able to survive. That's uh, like, it, I, I I'd like to be able to like make the decision to just like say, oh, I'm just going to like rent a place in this country for yeah. a while and be I would able love to, to just go and do that. Too, right? But like, I, I don't have the option to leave the country and still have a secure income and stuff yeah. like that, you know, like, I know that I don't have the stress tolerance for most lines of work, and although the streaming can be stressful in itself, it's, it also, like, carries a lot of purpose for me, um, which is a remarkable way of offsetting stress. Um, it turns out stress can feel worth it when it's not just, you know, struggling. What's a name you call your followers? Do you have a, a phrase coined for that? Uh, I mean, half of them I just call assholes. Uh, yeah. um, <laughs> Accurate. Because the ones who show up fairly often, we're, ju we're just on a level enough that we insult each other. Absolutely. Um, but... Uh, I, I, I don't really have a set name, though. Like, in my old Discord, they used to be the Floofy Buns. Aww. Um, and everybody had their own floof name. Uh, mm. That quickly got out of hand. Um, yeah, I, I didn't really have a name. You know, like, we, we had audience in Monster Mob for a while. Because I used to approach things with like a very sort of theatrical flair to it, I guess. And it's because I used to do theatre stuff when I was younger. Oh, yeah. Uh, so, like, I would even say, like, you know, when we're in a different... Uh, Discord channel before we go live, I'm like, oh yeah, we're backstage at the mix. It's just the, the language that comes with what I'm used to and entertaining. Oh, Proto, I have not been stuck with you for two months. You've been stuck with me. Thank you for the reset, bud. <laughs> also, you're a broke college student. Stop paying me money. <laughs> Please. Uh. Yeah, I've definitely spent more money on streaming than I've gotten from streaming. Oh, hundred <laughs> percent, same, same. Um, and that's the thing is, like, a, a content creator really, like, you you don't really make money without going on platform. I know it's something I've got to do eventually. Yeah. It's just trying to pick up the skills to be able to tie all of those things together, and also like work with people where they can make my life easier and I can make their life easier too. I completely understand that. I, I, I've definitely been on like more of a downturn lately and there's not been as much content coming out. Yeah. My energy's been lower. Um, and I, I the, it, it, it's, it's kind of expected with like bipolar disorder related stuff. Yep. You know? yep. Um, and uh, probably in two or four months I'll end up having another manic episode and I'll just like casually stream for 15 hours without thinking about it. Yeah. And I'll pick up the pace again and I'll start streaming daily for a week and that I'll burn out again and I'll stop and then I'll come back again. You know, it's the life cycle <laughs> of a streamer. Been. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's just like slightly exacerbated because of the bipolar disorder, so it's like yeah. more extreme in how much time I spend on and off. Also, Wait, um, I, know, I, I, I know if you. Sorry. Oh, I was just going to say, my, I got a relic that made my follower increase in size, so he does much more damage because he's yeah. much bigger. <laughs> but he also has a bigger hitbox, which is kind of not great. Yeah. Uh, what were you saying? Um, yeah, like, I, I definitely... Uh... Ah, sorry, my brain is going 
Yeah, I, I definitely know some people who will like do a few 24 hour streams a year and stuff like that. But, um, like, pretty much every really long stream I've done, I've not sat down and gone, oh yeah, I'm gonna stream for like 18 hours. You know, I just did. I just sat down and started streaming and went, this is going great actually, I'm really enjoying this, and just kept going. Yeah. Uh, I do that a lot with like Sea of Thieves streams. Like, yeah. I mean, I don't do them much anymore, but like when I would, I'd be like, man, I can keep this party going. Yeah, like the, the last game I did that with was um, Death Stranding. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Which is an excellent game. I actually don't think I've seen any of it vis-a-vis uh, -vis your playthrough either. It, it's so good. It's yeah. so good. I highly recommend it. I was told it's good. It very, like, emotionally. Uh, um, yeah, it's 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 pretty good at doing that. Um, but it's, it, it's really good at, like, sort of conveying this, like, choked sense of emotion. Yeah. Where, like, it, you know, it, it puts you very much in the headspace of the main character as well, right? It's like, you've got a sense ah. of confusion about things. There are some things that are highly emotional, but at the same time, it like creates this distance between you and everything. Yeah. Um, so you only have as much connection as you sort of choose to have, and it's like, do you lean into the isolation because it's easier to get through, or yeah. do you try as hard as possible despite the odds? Um, and I'm not sure if there's a right or wrong answer on which way to approach it yet, I'm not far enough into the game. Right, right. Um, and I don't think I'm very far into it at all, actually. Um, and yeah, I've still played, you know, about 24 hours of it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because I, I was doing, like, side quests and stuff as well, so I'm like, very slowly going through the story. Oh, yeah. I, I'll, I'll do that, too. Go through the story slowly because of side quests. Yeah. Because it's just so much easier. But it, it, it is just, a, like, a fascinating game as well. Like, I never yeah. thought that I'd be... Uh, focused and enjoying so much, like just trying to walk on difficult terrain. Mm -hmm. But that, that's what a hell of a lot of the game is. It's just like paying close attention whilst walking over large amounts of terrain. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, I, I think, you know, Hideo Kojima is pretty much a fucking genius. Yeah. Um, I think he's an excellent director. Um, the use of music in the game is spectacular. He's it's very well timed. Yeah. Um, and the way that like the game uses camera angles along with music at specific timings along with the, the level design. Mm -hmm. um, so that like you know areas that are just naturally built onto a large open world map are framed to evoke emotion yeah. at the same time that music cues kick in. May I uh, interject real quick? With yeah. some uh, dialogue. Uh, almond ball. I did not take them. They were given. Intended as keepers, perhaps. But they were young and in need of guidance. Must I be blamed for my influence? Salvaged from the void, they are yours now. Do what you wish, scornful god. I care not for them. So basically, this guy's being a piece of shit and saying he didn't care for his guards at all. And he basically <laughs> not really stole them, but they were given to him, which I don't, which most people don't believe for a fucking second. Hello, Cyclic. How you doing? Oh yeah, you asked earlier about favorite games, so I'm super into Delta Rune still at the minute. Oh, I know you are. Um, Amazing, yes. And I enjoy Delta Rune more than Undertale. Which, um, which is awesome to have that. Yeah, like, the, the issue that I've got is that because I prefer it to Undertale, yeah. I have higher expectations of it than I do Undertale. And that might bite me on the ass for my satisfaction of the ending. Yeah. I think uh, something really cool about that, though, is the fact that it's not even out yet, and you already prefer it. You know? Yeah. Yeah. 
I um I think the episodic nature works in its favor. Yeah, yeah. It's because I think it, it's easy. really easy to like burn through it, you yeah. know. Yeah. And by making it episodic, it it does just uh, slow that process down a little. And uh, to to be able to do that and to be able to like apply suspense to the end of each segment that isn't just immediately broken. Uh -huh. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm laughing at chat, seeing all the contributions going. Oh my god, is that a shrimp? <laughs> it, it was, now it's a stir. Now it's a stir fish. Oh. Here, I can, I can show you another shrimp. Oh my gosh, the whole left of the screen is gone. Lashy, Lashy. You have it! I feel the presence of a relic of my flesh. Be its caretaker for now. Something may yet be done. Blammo. It's my screen now. Beautiful. So, do you miss much of this game by not playing with the Twitch integration, do you think? No. Okay. It basically interacts the exact same. So, so, like, I'm not missing out on anything. I would have the same number of followers if I didn't. You know, like, gotcha. you still have to go out, grab some followers. Um, the only difference is chat can make some Twitch-integrated, like, stuff appear. And they can make good or bad things happen. Like... Yeah, I suppose it does alter your decision-making as well somewhat because of which characters you do want to protect and stuff too. Yeah, yeah. And like, it, it really does choose, like, it makes me pick and choose a lot, yes. Yeah. Just like, ah, which friends do you really like? Yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Let, let's also feed them. Oh, Grace wants to talk to me. I wonder what this is about. I'll get to you, Grace. Huh? The other followers want grass and shoes. Have the wheat dish. Oh my gosh, how did you get sick? It was a 5% chance that three of you are sick. Huh? Wait, how many of you? Why are so many? Oh! It was a 5% chance! How did everyone get sick? Oh, and you tried to kill Sunday. Oh. Oh, my gosh. How many people just got sick? Sunday, Cold was trying to murder you. No! He's doing it deliberately. I'm dying! I love Sunday so much. Yuck, murder. Oh my god, did, it, did literally half of the people get sick? Like, what ha did, did someone hinder me? What happened? <laughs> what it feels like. Thank you, Tasuni, for being just an amazing person and cleaning up all this mess. So I've been uh, playing Patapon on Steam Deck to pass my time. Does um, uh, Cultist cool. Simulator work on Steam Deck, you know? Yeah, it does. It works great. Okay, because I do want to try that again, so like, if you yeah, speak yeah, highly yeah. of it, then I, I, I'll be willing Yeah, to it works it. really good on Steam Deck. You can just crank graphics up the whole way and it doesn't skip on frame rate or anything 60 FPS. Gotcha, gotcha. So why? <laughs> yeah, I don't know if it has any slowdowns after the DLC or later into the game, but it was fine when I played it like a year ago. Greg said 5% turned into 105%. It really did. I don't know what happened. It's like it contaminated all the other food that I made. Oh my gosh, and everyone is still hungry. You know what? Y'all are getting grass because there's no downside. Uh, what were you saying about what uh, d a different game? Uh, 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 yeah, I was playing Path of Uh, oh, yeah. so it's the PSP game. No! Apple died! Ah! Um, Please continue. <laughs> Before yeah, it's a PSP game, so I'm running it through an emulator, and there's people who have made, like, HD texture packs and stuff, um, by extracting the textures from the remasters and redrawing them and stuff. Yeah. Um, so it's been cool to play that in HD, like, handheld still. Because yeah. they did re-release it on PS4. Um, but I want to stream that game soon as well, and, like, 
I don't have a capture card, and I'd be setting up a second screen and stuff, and all that irritating stuff. Yeah. Um, so I'd much sooner like just run it through an emulator. Uh, I've got the latency down pretty nicely on that, and then just uh, patch in new graphics. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. I, I plan on running Pat upon on stream soon, and I'm yeah. gonna set up uh, the rock band drums and uh back close to the drums in patapon so that i can what the, the real, I, i'm real, sorry real drums real comment <laughs> murder this guy at night oh it literally is asking me to murder this the person who's asking for it at night it just kill me later please yeah uh no no i will lose 25 faith for that no not happening bud but he he, he want the death. I, I can't. I will lose faith over that. I don't care. You can always bring them back. Yeah, but people are dying quicker than I can revive them. That's the problem. Yeah, you no, no longer fear death, death, but I need to revive. In fact, you seem to prefer it. Um, <laughs> is my cult so bad you must leave in this harsh <laughs> manner? Resurrection is still not th doing the thing. You won't need to eat for three days. There you go. Everyone's gonna be pissed at me, but here you go. No eating. I just don't have the resources for it. That's why I chose it, man. Maybe this is why they want to be mad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know feed us? I want to die! And everybody loved me again. Look at that. Easy peasy. Alright, it's Apple in- yep, there we go. Let's put you to rest, buddy. Alright, if there's another, um... Help or hinder, I need some help. Y'all need to get to reviving, because we've got so many dead right now. Alright, hinder, how did you love me? No, 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 no. Help, help, help. Help. Hinder, yeah. No, help. Help me. Help. Help. No. Do not hind. Do not, do not hind. Help. Help me. Help me. Help me. Help, no. You've got help me. No. I don't want that to be something that starts as a rumor. <laughs> Prefer that otherwise, thank you. <laughs> Appreciate it, but no. Wow, guys, cancel Keldor. Alright, you know what? I am honored that I, I am at a point where I can be canceled, but also no. Oh yeah, I can't eat grass. I forgot about that, whoops. Ah, damn it. Dr. Flair? Dr. Flair, have you joined our cult yet? Have you joined the cult, man? I forgot to ask. Look at this handsome man. Look at you, man. Manned. Manned. No, you ain't cool? No, you cool. Are you on a desktop? That would make you really cool. You on a desktop computer? One of them Computrons? Are you on one of thems? You you is? Alright, we're gonna get you in then. To be fair, you can do it on mobile as well if you use the uh, the desktop mode in browser. Yeah. It, it's harder to explain that way, though. <laughs> yeah. To be fair. I wonder when Twitch is going to bring extensions to mobile. Yeah, that would be nice. It would. Alright, Flair. Get ready. There you go. Should, should be right there for you. Cow. There we go. We got a doctor in the house now. Now y'all will stop getting sick, right? Now you get to create your follower. You can choose from any of the follower forms that were ever in the game. Of course, you went for the Eldritch Horror. Amazing. <laughs> Which, I mean, that is what Dr. Flair is. Yay. Let's see. You are Sloth. 
you don't work and you're not very devoted. Reduced by 10. Um, you lose 10 faith when falling ill. That's not great. Uh, ignores dissenters when they preach. That I guess that's positive, but I never get dissenters, so... Whatever. I'm pretty sure this doctor's trying to kill us. No, 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 no. They're, they're a good doctor. Let's see. What else do we have in here? Oh, yeah, we got uh, Proto, I think, in here, too, somewhere. Right? Oh, there they are. Uh, oh, yeah, Proto's a little square bee. Okay, I don't think I need to go back to Darkwood, so I think I'm good on that front. Best Doctor, yes. Um, I definitely need to get myself a new mic stand. Yeah? Yeah, this current one's uh, currently buckling under the weight. Hmm. So I can't add a pop filter, because otherwise it just drops. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah, it's it's being kept up at the minute, because one other end of it is dug into the wall. Yeah. Let's go to Purgatory. We haven't done that yet. So what this is, is basically like a trial. Uh, like, like trials. So, like, you go through different gauntlets of, like... Basically fighting bosses and door runs, but you get specific outfits. When you complete gotcha. one, it unlocks the other ones. That's how I get my outfits, too. Yeah, yeah. you have to do very many trials. Yeah, every, every time I'm wearing a new hot clothing, it just means that I like murdered some foul beasts the day before. Amazing. Twitch is deciding my fate. Alright, guys. I don't think you can revive in this area, unfortunately. But be nice to me, please. Two extra hearts. Let's go. Already doing good. And... Ah! No! Ah! Please! No! Believe! You, you, you assholes! <laughs> Summoning bombs across all the room. I, I, oh my gosh. Well, there goes my demon heart. <laughs> Immediately. I didn't even get into a fight yet. A likely story, Oracle. <laughs> Thought that was helping. Uh, in the smallest room possible. Yeah, yeah. Did not help. <laughs> Wait, was it under helping? Actually? Man, I, I took damage before I even got into a fight yet. Should have moved my... I was in a men... I was in a talking menu. I was in the literal, like, cutscene area, man. Nothing I could do. Frick off. There we go. Man, you're bad at this. Uh, no. I'm here, aren't I? So, Cat, I have another question for you. Okay. What did you want to be when you grew up? Uh, oof, that's a question. Uh, 
Uh, Did you I have any inkling of an idea as a child? Um, um I guess not so much as a kid. Like, as I got older, I wanted to get into like uh, psychological and psychopharmacological research. Mm. Um, but I mean, besides that, like, not so much really. Yeah. Like, I, I was always into, like, some music stuff as well, so I thought I'd always do something with that. Um... But yeah, I don't know. I, I never really, like, stuck to any of the thing. Right. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, that I, then... I think not having many clear aspirations is kind of how I've ended up where I am. <laughs> that makes sense. Um, what would you, what do you actually do for your current job? I don't work. Okay. Yeah, I, I receive disability benefits because, you know, Oh, that's whole, right, uh, yes. Stress tolerance thing is, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. yeah. Do you have a favorite, uh, YouTube channel? Hmm. Or, or someone you like to go to watch, uh. On like uh, off time. Cat Icarus. Cat Icarus is a really good YouTuber. I like his content. Oh. Uh, he only comes out with like one video every month or two lately. Yeah. Um, closer to two or three months lately actually. Uh, but whenever he makes something like he he'll make like an hour long in depth piece of content that I usually find really funny. Yeah. Um. I, I find like most content that's algorithm recommends as well is just like utter mind dropping. Um, you know, every now and then I'll find someone good out of that kind of stuff, but most of the time, like, algorithms just recommend stuff that'll hold your attention but that isn't really substantial in any way. True that. But, yeah, Cat, Cat Icarus is one that I like quite a bit. Um, He's unfortunately not very algorithmically rewarded because of that whole one video every couple of months. Thing. Yeah. Which is a shame because, like, I think there's far more value in somebody who puts, like, the effort into the content like that rather than, like, hey, here's a 10 minute video every day on something completely inane that's been churned out. Right, right. Uh, I'm definitely seeing this shift lately where like people are more happy to have like a, a shorter video game uh, and like less overall content so long oh as gosh. like what is released is nice and polished mm -hmm. um, and it, it won't surprise me if we start to see more of that trend with content too where people do start appreciating more like those content creators who don't put so much out but they they really produce something that's uh, of high production value. Yeah. Like I, I'd like to see more love for like artists and animators and oh, like yeah. people who have like a lot of skill and a lot of dedication to creating what they do, rather than like, what currently gets rewarded, which is people who are like doesn't matter what their creative ability is. The the biggest thing that matters is how they're marketing themselves. Right. Um. You know, I, I, I do have a disdain for most marketing, it, like, it's obviously a necessary evil in some respects, so I think there's a right way and a wrong way to do it, and the majority of content creation that I see that makes it big is doing what I would consider, like, not the most ethically sound way of approaching it. Mm, I, yeah. I value people's time and attention. Um, and, you know, I, I think that, like, clickbait is pretty sucky. Uh, you, you're trying to rope somebody in to be able to grab their attention and that time. And, you know, I, I, I really don't see a difference between sort of, like, selling somebody a product that's not actually what you're telling them it is for money or presenting somebody with content that you're earning money from but it's not what they expect you to be spending their attention on. Yeah. It's, uh, I, I value attention and money pretty much the same in that respect, especially when it is their attention that is bringing you the money. Yeah. 
on on the same regard. What's a what is a Twitch stream that you usually go to if you want to unwind or relax? Like someone you kind of like idly watch. Um, I don't really have that many now, to be honest. Yeah. Uh, because I, I know you're doing a lot a of work for yourself as well. Yeah, I mean, I have a couple, but I'm not really in those communities anymore. Yeah. Um, I don't know, to be honest. Um, you know, I, I come and hang out for a little bit in some streams. I'm usually fairly active. I'm not much of a lurker. Um... I mean, I think the last stream that I just sat and, like, watched from in bed because I was enjoying the content was actually Brian Beatles' Last Band Stories. Oh, yeah, um, yeah. yeah. That, that, uh, the game was really cozy to watch, too, so it was, like, very much because the game that was being played also. That's right. Um, you know, like, he, he moved on to Banjo Kazooie. Um, and, you know, he had plenty of people enjoying it, but it, there was just something about Earthbound to me that, like, I, I, I wanted the cozy feeling of being in bed whilst watching that game. Yeah. Um, Absolutely. Yeah, there, there's a streamer who I hop in on every now and then, but I'm like, I'm usually awake at the wrong times, but if I happen to catch them at the right time. Uh, there's a UK streamer called The Cozy Witch, um, okay. and she does needle felting. And I just kind of find it therapeutic to watch it all come together, and she just, like, talks at the same time as doing it. Interesting. Um, yeah. Yeah. Any, uh, TV shows that you're into? Hmm. Do you watch a I lot know, of TV? I... No, not really. I, I'm not really into much, uh, TV and movies, to be honest. Um... Yeah. I, everything takes up time, you know. I yeah. and I, I, I watch independently created content far more than I watch professionally produced content. Right. You know, um, I, most of the media that I consume is on YouTube. That's um, fair. And you know, I, I in the in the UK, you have to have a license to watch TV. You, you straight up have to own a TV license. You, um, wait, excuse me, huh? Yeah, you need a TV license in the UK. So, like, how in America you need a license to carry a gun? Yeah. Uh, in the yeah, UK, need you need a license to watch television. Yes. Well, technically, you need the license to be able to receive the broadcast in your home, right? So you, you pay for a license for your residence. Um, you can, like, watch TV at another person's house if they've paid for that license. Um... Yeah, it's a thing. Uh, they really aggressively market it, and the way that it's done actually is like uh, I consider some of it to be completely reprehensible in how they approach it. Like, they can straight up send people to your house and like issue you notices, like almost like um, how people get served notices to come to court and stuff. Yeah, they do yeah. that same strategy of like, you know, they put it in your hand, like sort of very cheery, and they they use that demeanor to be able to like. Make sure that you have received this notice that uh -huh. tells you that you need to get a license. And uh, they are able to, like, request access to your home television if you don't have a license. And if you refuse and they have any suspicion that you're lying to them, they can simply speak to the police and the police are able to get a warrant and force their way into your home to check that you don't have a television set connected to an antenna. Oh. Yeah. And I find that so ridiculous because to me they're selling a product, right? That they're, they're selling the television station. That's that's what you are paying for access to with that license. And it, I just, I've never had a representative from McDonald's come and knock on my door with a police officer and say, "Hey, we need to look around to check you haven't got any burgers that you haven't paid." <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh -huh. So like the the fact that they can do that and just say, "Hey, we know that you say you don't need this and that you've said that you don't have anything connected up, but we're going to forcibly access your home to ensure that you don't need to pay us for a product that we have advertised to you that you're telling us that you don't want." Right. It's so fucking ridiculous to me. They that's they helpful, started yeah. this campaign where they used to send vans with like hardware looking stuff on the outside. Oh. Ooh. 
Oh, thank you for the thousand biddies, honey. Uh, it's actually not spoopy. It's Call to the Lamb. It's 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 not a spoopy game. It's more just like a a uh, little fighty game. It, it it ain't spoopy. This is not a horror game this week. No horror games this week, thankfully. Kind of spoopy? Not really. It's got it's got some like I wouldn't say gruesome tones, but more like uh, cartoon um, cartoon violence. Spoopy, Spoopy adjacent. adjacent. <laughs> sure. Was that your nickname in high school? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I can't remember what I was talking about. You were talking about um, McDonald's and burgers. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, TV licenses. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I, I just find the whole thing ridiculous. No, that um, sounds ridiculous. Like, and, like, they'll, they'll do things like they'll send you your first notice, and the first notice that you get will have, like, a green header on it, mm -hmm. and it'll just be written in plain black text. And then if you don't pay after that one, they'll send one that's just got plain black text on it. And then yeah. if you don't do one after that, then the text turns red. And all of a sudden, it looks more urgent. And, uh, yeah, they write it in a way that's, like, deliberately misleading. So, like, if you read through it multiple times, you can see that, like, to use online streaming services, you don't need to pay for that license. But there's plenty of people that believe you do because they run their own online streaming service, and to use that online streaming service, you do need to have the BBC license. That is so, insanity. So the way that it's worded is some people think that they need a TV license to be able to watch Netflix just because they haven't read through it properly. Oh, I've come I across this with multiple honeys. people that have like argued with me over it and told me like, no, no, you have to have a license to be able to be watching Netflix. It's like, that's not true. It's simply not true, but it's written in a way that's trying to catch as many people as possible. It feels like basically an oppressive form of tax that most people feel like they have to pay even if they don't really watch TV. Right. Just because of the way that it's like marketed and the urgency that's put there and the level of invasion that you have if you don't pay for it. Um, I just tell them to leave because I don't need it. And the, the thing is like, they say, oh, we'd love to stop sending you letters. So please go online here to respond and say that you don't need a license and we can stop sending these letters to you. But in order to do that, you have to give them your full name ah, and no! address. No! I put Nugget in jail on accident. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. So, yeah, the, the only way that you can prevent them from trying to gain access to your home is to give them all of your personal details in the first place. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's good. Which I, I just don't want to comply with on principle. Oh, no, know? I agree. So, like, when they come knock in and they're like, oh, okay, let us take your details. And I'm like, sure, I'm the occupant. Your dad. And that's all you need to know? Yeah. The occupant does not need the product that you are trying to sell to them. Right. Goodbye. It, it literally <laughs> sounds like really bad telemarketing. It's, it's Except not it's even, real like, life. just telemark. Yeah, and, like, straight up, they can just, like, enter your home by force if you're slightly rude to them, because they will just fucking say that they suspect that the reason you were rude to them is because you're being obstructive. Yeah. You know? So, like, a lot of people just let them in. Um, but they, they've really got no legal right to enter, and it, I plan on continuing to tell them no. And they have been sending me letters for the last five years. And I've not bought a license in five years because I've not needed it. <laughs> I don't access wow. any of the services that require one. Um, but yeah, because of that, like, it, it gets pricey if you want to watch TV, so I don't really. I pick up the odd thing on Netflix and, like, that's somebody else's account. Uh, <laughs> they let me use that, and besides that, you know, I, I really don't consume much media like that. That is honestly insane. It sounds completely insane. Yeah, but it, it also means that like ah! you know, I don't get I don't get the news fed to me at random times of day when my mind is at its most malleable. Yeah. So I'm able to like approach the news on my own terms by looking at multiple outlets and looking at the way that like the same story is portrayed by different outlets 
which gives me like a hell of a lot clearer insight as to the alignments and the intentions of the different media corporations and things, which I think keeps me more informed than if I learnt about the news from what a particular channel was trying to tell me yeah. that I have to pay for access to things, you know, like... It's. I, I think it keeps me less biased when I look at things in the media um, yeah. by not having it just presented to me like that. So it's, it, it comes back to that, like, people's attention is valuable thing, and I think that the way that television works is people get into a habit of just putting on TV and, like, they sit and watch what passes by them. Yes. Um, and in doing so, it catches you in, like, uh, not necessarily a state of vulnerability, but definitely, like, um, you're less like cognitively protected from propaganda mm -hmm. also twitch vote for who you want to revive if we don't get votes i will do it myself <laughs> also honeys are you still there buddy if not that's cool no big Do it up. Ma, ma. Oracle. Um, how much are these licenses and are they needed to be renewed? So I think the license is around about like in dollars it probably costs about two hundred and twenty five dollars a year. Oracle, I hate you so much, dude. Why? Why? Well, we literally could be using our resources to revive our friends. So there, there are some exemptions that you can get for the licenses as well. So like uh, if you're uh, the age to receive a pension, then you don't need to pay for a license. Yeah. Um, and I think uh, if you have a if you have a black and white television set, you can pay a smaller license. Oh. Which, it's ridiculous that that's even still a thing. Yeah. Um, and I think that you can pay a lesser fee if you're blind. Huh? Yeah. Because no, you might still not. want to I'm... access the audio and audio description services that are broadcasted. That sounds very bullshit. That sounds very made up. I know it's not. I know yeah, it's yeah. not. I, I can send you the documentation. No, 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 no. I <laughs> completely believe you, but that, it's like that thing where you say, it can't oh, yeah, be yeah, real, yeah. but it's real. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so I mean, it, it kind of, it kind of makes the smallest bit of sense when you consider that, that like, you know, they do broadcast audio description services. Yeah. And, you know, like, you just simply can't access that through the radio. Um... But it, yeah, it's it's just like, hey, you know, if you can't see the TV, you don't have to pay. You know, like. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's weird, huh? But uh, while whilst they do that for people who are blind, who may still want to access the media, uh, they don't do that for other people with disabilities who might benefit more from having access to media as a form of respite. Yeah. So, you, you, you would think that, like, people on other kinds of social benefits would be able to get that, but they, they just don't provide it. Yeah. It's very interesting. There's a word for it. Yeah. Oopsies. I keep forgetting, if you roll too far, he yells at you. <laughs> But yeah, I, I really hate how that system works. It's so ridiculous to me. Yeah. Like, it's it's public broadcast, and if you're broadcasting publicly that's in a way that's not encrypted, then it should be publicly accessible, too. Yeah. But it, it can literally, like, be illegal in the UK to plug in an antenna to tune into a radio station if you haven't paid for access to do so. That is insanity. Like, it, it, it literally yeah. sounds like a scene out of a... Like, you're from Bizarro Universe, you know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, it's very strange, and we're one of very few countries to do it. Um, yeah. And it, 
I mean, it does mean that, for example, like, so on the, the BBC channels, the only advertising you will get is for other BBC shows between BBC shows. Oh. And, um, it means that the advertising time is reduced quite dramatically. Um, so television shows that are made for British BBC broadcast, uh, you know, you, you tend to have like 24 minutes to a show because you have a half an hour with, uh, you know, you sort of three minutes at the end for advertisements and three minutes in the middle. Um, the stuff that airs on the BBC tends to be more 28 minutes for it's half an hour. Um, because you, you don't really have breaks in the middle, and you would just have that little bit of time at the end to be like, hey, this is what else is airing today, this is what's airing for the rest of the week, and then it just shows the entertainment. Interesting. So ironic that you can get BBC for free? Really? Oh! Like, that, that's just a publicly accessible thing in the US? I, I don't know. Is it? I've been watching, like, Taskmaster, but kind of, like, little episodes here and there, not really, like... Yeah, because we have, like, BBC iPlayer in the UK, but you can't legally use BBC iPlayer in the UK without a TV license. Which, of course, they can check, because when you sign up to BBC iPlayer, you have to enter your address. Yeah. Most internet now comes with cable because we basically destroyed cable, so it's free. Ah, betcha. That's, that's fair, yeah. We, we have that with, um, landline telephones. Like, oh, um, it's cheaper to get your internet if you also get a landline telephone. Damn. Like, and I haven't thought about landline telephones in a very long time. Yeah, yeah, I had a landline telephone only a couple of years ago because it was literally cheaper for me to get a landline telephone as well as the internet. Um, um, do you it, want to it, be a dissenter it, real quick? Uh, sure. He, just a little angry guy. They're all dead! Oh lord, how could I again? Did you see it in me? The darkness in my soul? I absolve you, join me. Oh, thank you, master. Oh, yeah, he's all better now. He killed his family, but you know what? <laughs> he's all good now. Hey, he asked for forgiveness and it was given, so it's fine. Hey, yeah. What, how will you ever know the answer if you don't ask? Yeah. Yeah. There is a scene I really... That, that, that's how morality works. You just stick on some fancy robes and tell people that it's fine now. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I used to know of somebody who only went to church when they fucked up. Um, like, they would literally never They're... go to church, and then they would fuck something up in their life. They would go to church, ask for forgiveness, be like, yeah, it's all better now. And Un then they would Unfortunately, I know a up. lot of people like that, too. Yeah. So, this, uh, this next part, I really want your opinion on. Um, there will be a voice I want you to do as well. Okay. So, this little cat lady... You want to do the voice uh -huh. for her? Mm -hmm. One can be certain of nothing but the hearts. Oh. A heart remembers, a mother shan't forget. Oh, generous fortune, should I be dreaming, never allow me to wake. Get a fraction of my beating heart. Ah, lamb, praised lamb, blessed lamb, my son returned, soul almost whole. Kindly deeds for kindly rewards. Take this, and I shall insist. Should my other son cross thy path, pass unto him that a mother loves, misses, understands. Not 
Often, I would hope, and scorned myself foolish, that upon the opening of mine eyes my kits would return. When they did not, I would dream instead of their smiling faces held close by kindly paws. Oh, with all my humble heart did I yearn for such. And here, now, ah, the wounds of a heart once carved and may yet be healed. Blessed Lamb, the heart remains an infinite vessel, and yet mine overflows. Blessed Lamb, what language speaks love? What of gratitude? Whichever it is, mine is due to you. Ah, uh, it's, it's just so. Aw, oh, thanks, chat, for giving me a diseased heart, but... It's just one of those really good interactions. It makes you feel so much better of, of all the bad things you've done to return her sons to her. And then smash all the things. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So Sometimes there's a gift. I got a gift. <laughs> yes, I know, Grace. You can literally, like, if you pay attention to some of the words she says to you during the main game, like, you can find out that these two guys are her sons. And then, when you get them as villagers, you can literally give them back to her. <laughs> I know I just destroyed all your worldly possessions, but, uh, I found a gift. <laughs> I found a gift! <laughs> <laughs> but this is one of my favorite interactions. She looks so happy. I, she, her sons have been missing for, I think she said, 30 years. Wow, okay. And they've been basically in purgatory with that guy. With the one who waits. And now they're back to with her. So, I'll break all of her things in a day, but return her son long lost sons after 30 years. She can live with it. <laughs> she can deal. But it's one of my favorite interactions that they added to this game that you can literally return a mother's lost son. Spokesman like a true narcissistic manipulator. No, I did this thing for you, so you let me do this. <laughs> Yes, yes. Yeah. Yes, yep. You're really running that cult well? Yeah, 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 I am, yeah. A few trappings for the indoctrination. <laughs> Every, everyone's still so butthurt about Ratao. Like, come on, man, I returned her sons to her. Get over it. <laughs> I just killed him, man. It's okay. Just a spot in my Yeah, just a, just a little bit. I sacrifice a follower, nobody bats an eye, but I kill Ratal and everybody loses their minds. Yeah, rats are awesome. Um, Oracle, what did you say? No, you were like Q son to Rata Ratua. I think it means no, you were like a son to Ratal. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's true. Thank you. I, I could not decipher that. I'm live. Stop being here. <laughs> you didn't see the kitty family, did you? No? Well, watch the... Oh, you did? Oh, okay. Never mind. You didn't comment on that. You just comment on my misfortune, huh? <laughs> so we recently got a Popeye's chicken in my town. Which isn't oh. a thing that's been in the UK for very long. Yeah. And, uh... Best spicy chicken sandwiches, my fucking god, they are amazing. They are great, yes, I do love Popeyes. Or, I used to love Popeyes, excuse me. <laughs> I, I have to come in at it. <laughs> Cat, you spying on me? I'm eating Popeyes. I got some in the fridge ready to like reheat later. It reheats great in an hour for I am. Yeah. But yes, I am also spying on you. Um, Keldor asked me to. It's part of my uh, initiation. Mm -hmm. and, uh, part of the initiation. I'm, I'm supposed to feed back information on a potential spy. <laughs> oh wait, I wasn't supposed to say that bit. Keldor, I fucked it up already. 
you like read the next line in the piece of paper you're reading from. Oh wait, don't read this line out loud. Shit. <laughs> How are you doing, Grace? Now monitor Grace's reactions. Wait, um... <laughs> Don't say that out loud. <laughs> Leader, my brother Bedroll has joined us here and I, I can't stand him. Our whole life, our lo whole lives he has overshadowed me, but mo no more, let's fight. Yeah, Bedroll, okay, yeah. All right, Bedroll's- It's extra bed if I get tired. <laughs> Bedroll's a throwaway character it. anyway, so let's do it. Murder. Here we go. Fight pit. Fight pit. Fight pit. The mantis shrimp has a death punch. The Let's... giant horse cock weighs more than 30 pounds. Oh. Alright, let's get Yippee 2. And then bedroll. There he is. <laughs> fight pit. Fight pit. Slap You're fight. You're gonna die. Oh, there he goes. So you only spying on Grace, or like you're not allowed to disclose that information? Uh. 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 We we can't disclose that. Uh. Okay. For legal reasons, I am going to refuse to answer the question. <laughs> the TV government will come down on me. My financial advisor told me to repeat the words the reported amount is the correct amount. <laughs> Amazing. Don't say the quiet parts out loud, but obviously if they're spying on me, they're spying on you. Yep. All right. Are you ready <laughs> My to say... My advice, they simply gaslight you into thinking you never asked that question. <laughs> That's fair. Um, are y'all ready to say goodbye to Nugget? Y'all ready for this? <laughs> Bye, Nugget. Aww. F's in the chat for Nugget, man. Nugget was a good boy. He only wanted Chimkin Nuggets. Can... Oh, still charging. Okay. So, I think we still... We have one more throwaway follower that should... be a good enough level for us to open the final door. So much popping. Popping and locking. So, you, you like remind me of the sound that the meme cat makes when it opens its mouth up. Thanks, it's basically a tick. Um, <laughs> it used to be really bad, actually. It's not as bad now. Yeah. Now I have, like, a whole new set. <laughs> now I've got a new superpower. <laughs> They're shiny. All right, let's see if there's anything I want to do. I don't think so. Like, uh, every now and then when I tick, I swear, and it's like finding a shiny Pokemon. So it's like, oh, that's rap. <laughs> So it, it's 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 not like it's welcomed, but it's like, ooh, okay, I like that. <laughs> well, that's novel. Or that's different. Yeah. <laughs> like it's not good because it's not good because it's good, but it's good because it's different. I mean, it's not even good. It's just good. It's just it's just, it's just a change, you know. Yeah, it's something different than the day to day. I got two thousand dollars from that day of three thousand, excuse me. Look at that. Oh, hi Ophaz, what do you want? Dad, cat keeps following me and writing things down in their notebook. 
<laughs> it's actually but just like a bunch of doodles with hearts next to it. <laughs> it's like you taking a police report and you're drawing the Millennium Falcon and you're just making the sound effects <laughs> too. Pew, pew, pew. Just like take a peek at the notebook and I'm just drawing extremely muscular bunnies. <laughs> <laughs> are we talking like Dupixion or what are we talking about? Yes. Yeah? Okay. Exactly. That's what I figured, but you know. <laughs> but the lesbian buff bunny. <laughs> that is a phrase I don't think I've ever thought of or heard in my life. Lesbian buff bunny, but didn't you need that thought in your life? You know, it's it's a really good like alliteration. Lesbian buff bunnies, or buff bunny bitches. Buff bunny bitches. There you go. Isn't that a Family Guy bit? Yes, I was re referencing Family Guy. Yes. Hit him with the triple B. Okay. Five percent chance of causing illness and diarrhea. Yeah, I think I want to do that. Okay. 10% chance of causing exhaustion. I could cause exhaustion. That's fine. Stringy meat pool was my nickname in high school. I didn't like that. How you, like, hit the thing is it's just on the edge for most of them. Um, so that's actually a, a little, um... Uh, what, what's it called? Quality of life changes that they added. Mm -hmm. Um, some people did not like doing the little mini game for that so they added a workaround so basically if you enable an option it does it for you oh okay so same with the fishing like um the fishing is very i thought you just had fucking ninja reflexes i'm just like oh, wah, oh, wah. <laughs> uh, i i don't automate anything because i'm a try hard oh yeah uh i automate that and the fishing process because I don't love the fishing process either. Because it's very Stardew Valley, and I never liked the fishing process in that either. Yeah. I, uh... I... I think the one that I wanted to automate the most was, like, Persona 4's fishing. Oh. Um, because there's, there's points in the game where you're literally just grinding fishing. Um, <clears throat> and you, like, can't even guarantee specific stuff unless your save's coming. Yeah. Hi, Ivy. Hello. I, I hated that shit, which is why, like, the most recent time I played through Persona 4, I played through with a bunch of mods. Um, and it didn't automate the fishing, but it made it so that, like, each type of bait had a definite type of fish it would catch, rather than just a chance. Yeah. Yeah, Persona 4 has actually aged really well if you add mods to it. Interesting. Yeah, I, I had a mod that, uh, like, backported the models from the later games into the Compendium. Yeah. So it took the, the demons from, like, Persona 5 and uh, Shin Megami Tensei 5. Aw, um, Ivy, thank you for the 40 bits, and also Aspire died. I think uh -oh. I think your 40 bits killed Aspire. Aspire raided us, too. I'm so sad. <laughs> can, can we please stop hindering and just bring someone back to life? <laughs> Can y'all fan out? I need to collect the totem. Help! So, have you heard of Fediverse social networking? Uh, no, that doesn't sound familiar. So, it's a thing I was looking into recently that, like, uh, Mastodon's a part of and Threads is looking to join. Oh. Okay. Um, but it works on a system where, like, your social media profile on each platform essentially becomes its own address, like, similar to an email address. Oh. Um, so you can communicate across other social network platforms using the same framework by tagging someone's username and the address that it's registered to. Interesting. So, like, you know, you could have, like, at Keldor at Mastodon.com, for example, and yeah. message you on that from threads. Um... 
it looks quite interesting, uh, the way that it's like joining it together. Uh, I imagine that they're probably going to end up with some form of blockchain integration at some point, just yeah, because yeah. like the, the the decentralized stuff always seems to work that way. Um, but it's it's like it, it kind of has like its own framework for how the social networks operate as well. So like you can build a social network upon that system and have it integrate. Um, and it, it looks quite interesting because, uh, especially for like advertising purposes for streaming and stuff as well, yeah. um, it'd be great for people on other platforms to be able to follow without necessarily having to be on that platform. Mm -hmm. So just sort of be like, hey, I want to just tune into this channel of another social network to be able to track this one person here. Um, yeah. And yet still be able to socially interact using the tools that are provided in a way that I prefer. Um, yeah. So yeah, that, that's it's something that looks interesting. It's something that I want to look more into because I, I want to move away from Twitter. Uh, I'm not liking what Twitter's become. Since oh, Musk same. Took over. Um, it's, it's just the act of actually worse. doing it. Yeah, yeah, and it's it, it it still has some benefit to me as well. That's the thing. Like if I just drop Twitter, I will definitely see an impact to the stream. Um, yeah. And I, I've got to find a way to transition that over and replace Twitter's benefit. Because um, simply just cutting it out isn't going to work too good. It's not a great option. I'm building more unbreakable beds so Oracle has no power with it. <laughs> I could have used a few of those in my time. <sighs> What? <laughs> I, were you being fully, like, serious about that? I, I've broken a bed or two. St I feel like it's still a massive, like, ah. What? <laughs> I I don't know if, like, you're, like, serious about it or if it's, like... Yeah, yeah, I, I've, I've broken a bed or two. Yes, I have. I've genuinely <laughs> broken a bed or two. Okay. Because I'm, like... It's either 69 funny sex number, or it's just... Oh yeah, my bed's broke. Uh, Porque no las dos. <laughs> my, my, current, my current bed's alright, it's a lot more solid. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amazing. No, I, I've broken a bed of my own, and I've broken someone else's bed. There you go. Yeah. So, unbreakable beds, great invention. Definitely useful. Look at all of these people. Just, there's so many people. I just love that one of them is called Love Seat. Yeah, they're one of the throwaways. Why are you fasting? I'm hungry. I also made you food on accident, to be fair. I just, I just misread Lash P as uh, Leaky. Leaky? Oh, who named him Leaky? <laughs> Which one of my followers' names is Leaky? It appears that one of my followers is leaky. I mean, that that can happen. They just revere you so much, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lead them so hard, you make them leaky. Speaking of love seat. Ah, <laughs> oh, thank you, Break, for the contribution, man. Yeah, now that um, Snapcam is offline, like, I know there's a patched version that still kind of works, yeah. but I don't know if there's any way to really make filters for it anymore. Um, yeah. And I do have the tool to install to do that, but I used to just export them to web and then open the link. So I'm not sure if there's actually a way that I can still make them and put them into my own Snapchat. Right, right. So, I'll, I'll have to... Uh, but I, I know I'd be able to get them working through Snapchat, it's just... To be able to get them actually like on the webcam thing, I, I don't know. Oracle, if I give you the ability to choose who will we revive next, do you who promise to choose a real ass person? Real person. Real ass person was my nickname in high school. Oracle, I need a promise. You would not choose a real person. Is that what you're telling me? You said you would not? 
thought you knew that. All right, well, then I'm choosing the person. Ruined it. Oracle ruined it for everyone else. Can you suggest egg now? No, you were supposed to pick egg. Brandita, Brandita. You want Brandita? Brandita? I want Brandita. I want to see everybody else. I do have to do the other yippee at some Bop point. Twisted pull. <laughs> yes, but uh, we will do Brandito. Hell yeah. Yeah, Oracle, you could suggest egg all you want, but like you have to choose egg. Like you don't just get to volunteer who it is. You have to choose them when it when it's time to choose. That's not how it works. All right, decide the fate, Twitch chat. Can we get another revive or a cooldown, maybe? What does that say? Step grandpa. Yeah, I, I, I read that article. I already read that. But D. Peter, thank you for again for rescuing Bedroll. In fact, he's so grateful that he wishes to marry you. No! I've got two wives already. All materials were refined. Ooh! I only had stone going, but that still works. That's awesome. Perfect. Thank you, Twitch. Chat. I always keep saying Twitch chat, like there's a different kind of chat that I'm supposed to be talking to right now. <laughs> <laughs> roll was so grateful to me that they wanted to marry me after five seconds of meeting me. I don't know if I like that. What? Oh, that's new! I didn't know there was a boss rush mode. Hello. That's new for me. I'm I'm starting it. Let's do it. Fight, 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 fight. We're gonna, we're fight. gonna try it. We're gonna try it. Murder, murder, murder. And it gave me an axe. That's that's not bad. As long as it wasn't the hammer, I can live. Hello, Babatos. It's like one of Bob's favorite monsters, I bet. It's just Babatos. Aha! <laughs> yeah, if Twitch chat could choose my weapon, it would be hammer all day, every day. Hammer all day, every day was my nickname in high school. Of course it was. I like having a relic. Hammer Hater Club. I love that. Oracle, can you make t-shirts that say Hammer Hater Club? <laughs> Beelzebub. Beelzebubu. Beelzebubu. <laughs> Beelzebubu. Bubbles, bubbles, bubbles. <laughs> bubbles, 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 bubbles. Ah, shh. There we go. Uh, blessed relic. Yes, please. Uh, actually, this boss rush mode ain't ain't too bad. I I like this. Oh, a witness. Okay. Ow! Yeah, I spoke. Yeah. Oh, oh, I, I do hate the frogs. So they're, they're very, like... As in, in all the enemies in this game, like the frogs are the most tanky in my opinion. They take the most hits and they're just annoying to deal with.
So, Cat. Yes. Question for you. Have you ever 100% of a video game? Uh, I mean, yeah, I did uh, Ratchet and Clank very recently. Oh, yeah, yeah, um, that's true. Yeah, um, Do you know the first one you've ever done? Ooh, that's a question. Yeah. Uh, huh. I still my 100%? Because uh, I know uh, my answer. Um, it's probably either, like, Spyro 2. Okay. Oh, uh, Ripto's Rage, or... right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, actually, so in, in the UK, it's actually called Gateway to Glimmer. The European release has a different type. Gateway to Glimmer. I, I know that's what the town is called, but dang. I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Okay. I actually I, I love think that Rip title Rage, I think Ripto's Rage was deemed as too aggressive, whereas, like... You know, it starts with Spyro being pulled into Avalar through Glimmer. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, like, I, I think that's why. Um, it's kind of cool. Yeah, like, it's I mean, got a nice connotation to it. Mo most of my gameplay has actually been done on Ripto's Rage, though, because I tend to play the US version. Mm, that's uh, right. Because the US version runs full speed at 60 hertz, whereas the, the European versions, their full speed is at 50 hertz. Yeah. So you, you lose 10 frames per second to get the game running at the right speed. Right. Um, and if you turn it up to 60, then obviously the game's running 20% too fast. Um, but yeah, I, I think uh, like Ratchet Deadlock slash Ratchet Gladiator. Like I think it's called Gladiator here, Deadlock in the US. Like yeah. that's one that I 100% uh, did. Um, it, it was a it was a really satisfying game to do that with as well. Yeah. The um, uh... I mean, I, there's some other games too, but I, I I guess I wouldn't really count this so much because they're not like games that you can play through and miss stuff. Right. So, like, I, you know, I'm, I'm sort of going by game to say where there's an option to, like, new game plus and unlock extra things, and, yeah. Because yeah. there's, there's plenty of games you can complete and have loads of content you've never seen, and, you know. Yeah. But those are the ones I would consider. As far as just completing games, yeah, I did that with plenty before, but not really games that I would consider there's much content I'm missing by not doing anything, you know. Right, right. I know my first was, um, you ever play any of the Sonic games? Yeah, I played a few of them. The... Uh, I fell out with it because the, the first, like, Sonic game I had was on GBA, and mm. it was actually a, a, a fake that was sold to me, out of a fucking, like, official game store as well. Yeah. So it didn't hold save. The one so, I yeah. ended up 100%ing was, um, it was on GameCube, and it was, um... Sonic Adventure Battle 2. Gotcha. Which was a phenomenal... Was that the, uh, Sonic DX thing? Was it? it? It's very related to Sonic DX. Like, Sonic gotcha. DX, I believe, came first before that did. Right, right. Are they like the same engine? Or... Yeah, it's the exact same engine, but it's the next game, pretty much. Gotcha. Yeah, I, I think they, like, remastered that or something later for the PS3. DX? Uh, Sonic Adventure 2. I don't think they ever remastered it, or at least I don't. I don't remember the, them doing that. I vaguely remember that being. I might be wrong. Huh? Let me have a look. Yeah, because that would be neat if they did. Yeah, like, I'm pretty sure it's a while ago, like a decade. Yeah. Yeah, it was remastered PS3, Xbox 360, and Windows in 2012. Hmm. So just over 10 years after the original release. Interesting. I didn't know that. Yeah. Pretty cool. Yeah, I vaguely remember because uh, someone used to share their PS3 account with me so that I could get some extra games. Yeah. Back when that was a thing you could easily do on consoles. Mm -hmm. I have another question for you. Uh-huh. Um, besides your, like, 
I'd say your monster mob teammates. Mm -hmm. Who is someone you kind of always wanted to collab with? Hmm. And I mean, like, preferably someone who you haven't collabed with. Like someone who I haven't collabed with? Like yeah, someone, someone you've kind of been eyeing. Like, more or less, like, kind of a goal person. Uh, I guess that's kind of tricky because, like, I've never really had any... Oh, Ivy died! Just... Sorry. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, I've, I've never really had qualms about just asking people, yeah. you know, so like I've never really seen somebody as like too out of my league to ask uh, So when I've wanted to collab with somebody like I, I really Just asked them All so right. there, there's there's not many people who I really want to collab with who I either Haven't organized it with or have turned it down for some reason or another. Yeah um, So I don't, how, how I don't about know, really? I'll, I'll give you an if scenario then. Okay. How about Jesse Cox? Oh, yeah, yeah, that'd be awesome. Absolutely. Yeah, okay. I'd love to do that. Like, I, I'd love to stream Monster Prom with Jesse Cox and make him play my mod. <laughs> yeah. Right. That, that would be awesome. Cause... And do some ridiculous shit. I have only played through that mod once, and I I know I haven't even like scratched a, like a tiny bit of the yeah. surface of it. But yeah, if you think I haven't asked Jesse Cox to stream with me, then you're wrong, because <laughs> I have asked. Yeah, okay, that that makes sense. No. Yep. Right? I, I I told you I really don't fucking bother me. Like, what's the worst they're gonna say? No, they might say yes. Of course I'm gonna ask. All right. So so what was the answer? <laughs> I what? didn't get one. I I, <laughs> I I would have assumed that. That is yeah. fair. But yeah, I, I emailed him. Um, you know, and I, I've done that with a few game devs, and it's gone well a few times. You know. So. Yeah. Like I, I'll I'll send out emails every now and then when I see like pre-release games, things that look interesting, especially like. If I think I can offer something in the way of how I can present that game to the audience, you know, especially like the King of the Castle. Yeah. As soon as I saw how that was played, I was like, oh, I got plans for this. Like, mm -hmm. and it, you know, Monster Mob really was sort of like perfectly set up to complement that game. Yeah. Um, there, there's a few others like it, uh, you know, like Awkward 2 went quite well for us. Mm -hmm. Um, the, the issue I have with Awkward 2 is I, I need to talk to them about some of the content that's in the game. Um, is it because, a little iffy? Uh, some of it is very, very close to TOS. Oh. And it, some of it is very against a lot of people's personal terms of service for their stream. Understood. And it's not on a toggle as to whether those more extreme answers are something that you can turn on or off. And you have like a Twitch mode that you can activate, but turning on Twitch mode does not deactivate some of those things. Um, so th there's some jokes in there that I wouldn't want made on my stream by a, a guest, so I certainly don't want the game saying it. Right, and you should be able to, like, turn certain, like, questions on. Yeah, yeah, I mean, like, I, I, I'm not entirely against humor, but when, when you're streaming, you have responsibility to ensure that the content on your stream is appropriate for the terms of service. And also, everybody knows those terms of service, so they know what to expect. And you don't want to hit somebody with content that's, like, funny to one person, but actually, I like... Quotes, fairly forget. serious Not to many, another yes high oracle uh yes continue mm -hmm. but yeah like you know so some of that content is stuff that like someone might not want to see on that bit you know it, it oh, might yeah. hit somebody in the wrong way and uh, yeah that that's the issue that i take with it is it's like you know you have those times of service on twitch and yeah okay they, they've got to be adhered to as rules but there is also that because of how that is set up people walking into a, a twitch stream have a certain kind of expectation for what content they're going to see yeah. and if they're seeing content that's skirting close to that line it becomes less of a safe place for those individuals um at the same time like yeah if you want to make some dark jokes and stuff sure do it in discord do it offline you know it's not really a thing that is for twitch so much you can have some stuff that's risque sure but like the, the stuff that i saw in awkward 2 did make me uncomfortable in a couple of areas and i was glad that i was playing it offline when those particular questions came up. yeah it, it's i i at least as of late i have been very strict about the content that we are putting out yeah yeah because like i i Dark humor is getting less popular on my side of things. Yeah, yeah. 
like humor is fine. Even it's yeah. sex humor, see, funny. But like when it gets to dark humor, I'm very selective of what see, comes I, out. Yeah, yeah. With, with dark humor, like I try and keep it that it's like universally relatable dark humor. Yes. Bread humor, no, no, that's and not funny. If, if and if you if you're gonna laugh at someone's pain, make it pain that you've got that you're laughing at with another person who's got the same pain as a like form of understanding. Yeah, right? Oracle, you so, ain't got a gluten allergy, you fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you make fun of mine. But yeah, you know, you 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 can make dark jokes, you can roast people and stuff, and it could be fine if you've got that understanding. Yeah. But th there's just some topics that I I don't really think are worth broaching and that are, are too tricky for Twitch. Yeah. Um, and it's it's just not necessarily what people want to see. Right. If you're gonna make dark jokes, make it about being sad. We can all relate to that. And like that's the thing, you know. Like there's plenty of dark jokes that I make about mental health stuff. Um. There's plenty of dark jokes that I'll make about some kind of physical disability stuff when I've experienced it myself. Right. But unless it's a very close friend who has described their experience to me and is very comfortable joking about about it themselves, it's not for me to make those kinds of jokes to anyone but that individual, right? Um, and and that, that's how it is with any kind of sensitive issue to me. To me, it's like no humor is off limits. You've just got to be sensible about taking people's feelings into consideration when you do it. Yeah. Absolutely. I completely agree with you on that. <laughs> it's, it, it's why it's, like, very different when you see, like, you, you know, like, what one that I can very personally relate to is uh, if you see somebody, like, doing a stand-up set about trans people, and they don't know any trans people, they don't understand the struggle, they're, they're just, like, basically pointing and laughing at something that they find unusual. Yeah. Um, and it's why that's so different to when you hear a trans person or somebody who is supportive of trans people making jokes. Because you can often tell by the sense of the joke, by, the, like, the, uh, the tone of the joke, whether they have a sense of understanding or whether it's coming from a place of empathy or not. Um, and the, the thing is, the people who don't understand can't tell the difference. Thank you, chat. Th they did ritual cooldowns. Yeah. I, I voted for that. <laughs> oh, thank you. <laughs> we desperately need it. Yeah, you, you know, like, uh, it's, it's, there's some stuff that, like, I would not be happy for a stranger to really joke about unless there's something about that stranger that immediately indicates to me that they understand. Yeah. Um, and, you, you know, I generally have patience to figure that out, too. If I hear someone make a joke and I'm not sure of the way to take it, then I just pay attention and then I try and make a decision from there as, like, how involved I want to be with that individual. Yeah. You heard it hurt here foes first, folks. Jokes are funny when you're making fun of yourself. Yeah. Like I know that's not the synopsis of what you said, but it's like <laughs> very similar. <laughs> when you understand, you understand. What is something you use to relax? And I mean like what what is something you can do? that makes you relaxed. Uh, I'm assuming Valium doesn't count. Um, <laughs> I mean, that it's an answer? <laughs> um, I mean, I don't is a, probably a weird way of putting it. So, like, you know, everybody has something that they like to wind down with. Yeah. Uh, honestly, I'm not a wind down kind of person because... Mm. Um, I have like a very urgent mind, I guess. Yeah. Uh, I'm quite an anxious person. And downtime to me always feels like wasted time. That, uh, I, I kind of get that as well. Not like the, the probably whole rest to a lesser degree, thing. but yeah. So I'm, I'm more of a, uh, I find distractions than relaxation. Yes, right? I, yes. Uh, I, I, I move between things that are occupying my mind because I know that I can't just like continue hitting the same fucking spot on a brick wall with my head and I need to take a break from time to time. But also like, I, I can't 
I, I have to like trick that sense of like, oh, you need to be doing something because otherwise it feels like a self betrayal to just relax sometimes. It's probably why I'm exhausted so often, even though like it doesn't seem like I'm always doing that much. It's because like, yeah, I don't really actually slow down in my downtime. I keep doing stuff even if it's pointless stuff. Right, and, but even your pointless stuff is in a way productive, but it's still like not what you kind of want to get done. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, you know, it's, I, I end up like, oh, I'll just troll totally social media for a while, and next thing I know, I'm like in a political wormhole and like trying to make sure that my rights are secured in the country that I'm living in and all this kind of shit. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So, like, I, because it's that it's that sense of urgency again, where it's like, well, what am I sitting back doing nothing when my future's at stake here? And it, it's really like that at every turn, you know? It's, it's one of the things that keeps me streaming too. It's like, oh, I'm playing a video game, but I'm not streaming it on camera when I could be using this to grow my channel what am i doing yeah you know it, it, it's it, it's a pretty crappy overbearing feeling to be honest but also like if i didn't have that then i just straight up wouldn't be doing anything right uh, it's, it, it's kind of the extremes that i work within right and you, you it's just you, you take whichever side effect you take from whichever way you're approaching things you're either going to be constantly dissatisfied or you're going to be satisfied but not doing anything mm -hmm. and if you find a balance in that great but i am not a very balanced individual right. <laughs> And then on the opposite end, what what is something that stresses you out? Um, besides com besides getting too political, what is something that stresses you out? Complex interpersonal relationships. Uh, can you define that for me? Uh, interpersonal relationships that don't just like exist in a way where you can hang out with the person and uh, vibe with them. Yeah. As soon as anything gets more complicated than vibing, it immediately becomes stressful to me. And it, it's it's stressful to me because I want to maintain relationships, you know? Right. I, I, I want to put that effort in, but it, it is something that I do find incredibly difficult. Um, I find, like, reasoning with people, compromise, negotiation, all, like, incredibly difficult things. Um, and I approach them very mechanically. Yes. Um, uh, oh, Glenn died. Sort of, uh, any disagreement with anybody I have any sort of long-standing rapport with yeah. um, uh, feels very much, like, threatening to me. Mm -hmm. um, and not in the sense of, like, that individual necessarily threatening me, but, but threatening in a way of it's like, you know, I, I have the security of, like, my friendships being the way that they have gone, and as soon as something is, like threatening that state of things yeah i'm very anxious very very anxious um i don't like change when it comes to my social circles but it's always inevitable of course. that is fair yes so yeah any anything where it comes to stuff like that you know like it's i love nothing more than when i find a person that i can just vibe with yeah. and that i have very little conflict with um and you you know that's that's some of the nice thing about streaming is you you do have the option to just sort of step away from people and actually like pick and choose sort of which aspects of people you're interacting with more. Right. And you know it, it sounds a little bit selfish in a way, but you in the same breath as not having to deal with a whole person, you also don't have to subject other people to the entirety of yourself too. If you've got some uh, bits about yourself that are more harder to manage, you know I've got some extremely yeah. volatile emotions, and I, I I keep that stuff under wraps by having space from people and it's not simply an option to just walk out of a room sometimes you know mm -hmm. uh, even the act of doing so could be more awkward it, it's easier to do that online um, that's pretty true but, uh, like in in the same breath like being involved in the streaming space and taking it seriously and professionally it does mean sometimes it's harder to walk away from those relationships as soon as it becomes like professionally involved yes because then then there's uh there's higher stakes on it too it, it's not just this thing of like well if i spend too long with this person i might like start uh, hitting something abrasive with them and that'll affect our relationship as friends like of course that's always stressful but when you've got like business intentions too alongside friendships that that can get really tricky if you come across any like creative differences or yeah. differences in plan of business because uh, it's really difficult to not conflate the two mm -hmm. 
you know, that, that's why so many people have like a work home life separation. Um, but I, I found like juggling those separate aspects of my life is something that's been holding me back personally. Uh, okay. I, I, I simply can't manage relationships in different pots like that. Um, I find like the code switching and the segregation between how I have to be a person to be utterly confusing and an almost dissociative experience. Um, because it, it's like I don't want to have to wear a mask depending on each situation I'm in, you know, and that, that, yeah. that's often how that thing ends up being. You got your professional face and you got your chill out face, and people get home from work and feel like they're peeling off the skin and finally being the real selves and stuff. And it's like, uh, <laughs> I don't think I have to go into much detail about why I would want to be my authentic self as much Correct. as possible. Yes, yes. Um, <laughs> I, I, I feel that's fairly obvious. Yes. yes. Um, so like that that's kind of the way that i'm approaching things now is it's like I, I don't see a difference in my business relationships and my friendships why would i want to tolerate the presence of somebody for the sake of business if i don't actually like them why would i lock myself into having to be in a day-to-day -day relationship with a person as a colleague if i don't actually enjoy doing that mm -hmm. you know at the same time why would i be forcing myself to do work just for the sake of friends so it's it's like it's it's trying to find that balance where i can i can do what i really want around like-minded people so yeah. that i i can basically like holistically approach my life in a way that the things that i gain satisfaction from don't require that same level of compromise and of course that's going to be a trickier road to get to right because any compromise you make on the way to that is against the goal in itself mm -hmm. um so it, it, it's a very headstrong stubborn way of approaching life i'm aware of that um but it it's it, it's basically become sort of a, a necessity as things have gone on really because I, I do sort of struggle to manage things separately yeah um you know that, that that's why like you know having uh something like streaming that i want to get into professionally it, it's it leaks over into that too right it's uh you know, it's the relationships and the work and the leisure is all sort of in one place. It's, mm -hmm. you know, my, my entertainment center and where I work and where I sleep is all the same room. And that works better for me. Some people have to split that up because it's, it's too much of a distraction. But I find I don't get anything done if it's all split up. Yeah. I messed something up. That was weird. I don't know how I even placed that. <laughs> All right. Here's one of the hardest hitting questions that you'll have to deal with today. Okay. What Mario character do you choose and why? <laughs> <laughs> in what game or just in any um we'll, we'll go universal but if you have a specific reason for a specific one i have actually never seen it rain in this game what the hell um i i mean i often pick rosalina and stuff yeah um uh i don't think i really have like a main other than that though I, I don't really play that many Mario games, you know? <laughs> um, which, which is kind of what I gathered. You, it's not yeah. that you don't seem like a Nintendo person, but like... You... Oh, I'm not a Nintendo person very much at all. So the, the only Nintendo consoles I ever really owned is like, I owned a Wii, uh, which I hacked a lot. Same, um, same. And I played some Wii games. Uh, yeah, I've still got like three Wiis, it's ridiculous. <laughs> um, and I owned a Switch, which I hacked a lot. Yes. Um, and I, I only bought Nintendo consoles once they were capable of being hacked, uh, once I could mess around with them. And it, it, that was more the appeal to me. Oh, no, tell a lie. I did get a DS as well, but uh, I bet you can't guess what happened to that. Um, um, you ate it? Uh, it was hacked. Oh, um, is that? <laughs> so, I yeah, couldn't have guessed. Yeah. I, so I, I started off with a DS Lite, and I used to use a flash cart with that. Yep. Um, and uh, then I moved on to a, a 3DS, um, and I got a, the, the new 3DS, mainly because I wanted to play uh, Persona Q. 
Oh. Um, and I got that, and then Persona Q wasn't as good as I thought, so I put it back down. And then I played some Shin Megami Tensei 4 for a while on it. Mm -hmm. And that was cool. And then I put it down, and then I haven't played it again since. Yeah. So... And I, I could have just played those on an emulator for what it was worth. But I was like, no, I want the authentic experience. You know, <laughs> um, <laughs> you know no, I, it wasn't garbage. That's taking it a bit harsh, but it was just like, you know. No, I, but new I favorite really, voice I really unlocked. hyped up him. I really hyped it up in my head, and it's of course like it's it's. Oh yeah, that's, sorry, that that's that's a voice that I do for my own stupid thoughts. And I, I love it um, immediately. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that one just falls out without me thinking about it. Um, oh, hello, how are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> that was just fine, I was just doing this, it was fine. Um, <laughs> I put my pants on this morning. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that, that, that's just my I'm not thinking, I'm just doing voice. It, it, know, it's a like, good one. That, that, yeah, it's it's what my ADHD's inner voice sounds like. I just do this. It's fine. It's fine. My accidental like, ADHD voice has turned into Kronk, and because <laughs> I at a certain point I actually practiced doing that voice a long time ago, and it just became internal monologue at a certain point, and I hate it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, one of my one of my funnest streams that I hosted was uh, playing Emperor's New Groove on the PS One. Uh, there was a game. Oh yeah, yeah. There was a oh, game for it. I did. It's it... wild. Highly recommend. It's so oh, memeable. Okay. Um, and the other PS One game I had lots of fun playing on stream was The Road to El Dorado. Okay, I have heard of that one. It's so fucking hilarious as yeah. a video game. So the voice acting's like, okay, which makes it funny as fuck. Mm -hmm. um, and there was one section of the game where like you have to solve, well, okay, I'm, I'm being very generous here with saying this, but you have to solve a puzzle to climb a temple and avoid some insects on the way because yeah. the insects, uh, the, the, the implication is they kill you, but they just like scare you and then the map resets. And once oh. you've like pulled the switches that you need to pull, like it's pretty much set up for you to go. And then, but like, as, as you walk through, you have to switch characters. And I say like, I'm being generous when I call it a puzzle because the puzzle is standing on a platform as one character pulling a lever as another character and then standing on the platform with the next character and pulling the lever with the other character like huh. so it, it i don't really call it a puzzle <laughs> it was obfuscated movement um so there was no solving to be done because there was no like selection of switches there was no wrong order to do it in, right, right? right it was just obfuscated movement on the way into the temple whilst avoiding some insects and i got caught on the last insect every time so i spent about 45 minutes on this section just trying to walk into a temple pulling these fucking levers over and over again yeah. um and like all of the other insects were dead at that point and they stayed dead afterwards but this one little fucker <laughs> just kept on getting me every damn time and like my chat is just absolutely pissing themselves laughing watching me fail it for the like eighth time in a row whilst i'm just standing there just like i'm so angry i am so angry <laughs> like <laughs> it, it's it's always good when you get to a point of a hard hard game but people yeah, can yeah. still enjoy it it, it wasn't even really that difficult either. It was just like the way in which the movement worked is it made it like slightly difficult to recognize the telegraph. So it's like every time I just moved like one animation cycle before I should have done. And I did the same thing every time yeah. because there's something about just the animation cycle when it's in that position that just made my brain go, no, you move now every time right because uh -huh. by the by the time you've walked all the way around again it's not exactly fresh in your head anymore it's like uh what did we play recently the um ultimate chicken horse it's like yeah. you holding that one button because oh apples a lot we revived somebody nice i am so happy yes oh Foz, i am so happy oh my gosh do you Kill get real food? help. Are you happy? Do we get real do food? Do we get real food? Yeah, you do. Where's the good? Magnificent mixed meal. Let's go. There you go, buddy. All of them. 
Magnificent Mixed Meal was my nickname in high school. Oh, thank you for the resub, Maki. Welcome back in. How you doing, buddy? Oh, that's a tier two. That is a tier two, yes. And also, um, Cat, this is the person that drew your little bunny. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I, I very much enjoy the bunny. Here, let me let me do a little shout out. She's so beautiful. Yeah. There you go. Drop Maki a follow. They're a wonderful artist. They're currently playing Baldur's Gate, which I am also enjoying slightly. Easy clap. Done. No. Yep. Hi, hi. Yeah, of course, Maki. You're a very good friend of the channel. Obviously. So, for anyone that doesn't know this, gosh dang it, Sullivan died. Uh, we just got Apple back. Come on. <laughs> I feel like I need to enable the mod that there's no limit to, like, cooldowns. You know? So I can just. No, too slow. Actually, I don't think I've ever seen too slow die. I don't remember. But I feel like that was never a thing. But, for anyone that doesn't know, I actually met Maki in Sea of Thieves. They were giving stuff away off their boat during, like, Christmas, and we were running from them. <laughs> Twas amazing. Twas the good times. Oh, no! I, I pushed the wrong button! I... Brutalized Sullivan. <laughs> ah. still revive him. <laughs> Otherwise, I've removed Sullivan entirely from the game. Oh, no. Oh, wait. We're actually really close to a, a river. I am so pissed. I, instead of pressing A, I pressed Y, and it didn't ask me to confirm, so it just went ahead and let me cannibalize the man. Oh. Aww. Poor Sully. I... To be fair, it's the way he'd want to go. Honestly, yeah, I, kn I know this man. Like, he definitely would have wanted to go that way, but I just didn't want him to go. I wanted him on an infinite revive cycle. Okay. So earlier I saw someone on Twitter try and insult someone's hair dye by calling it a dye job, but they misspelled it as dry job. Oh. And somebody asked what a dry job is. Um, and I explained a dry job is like a blow job, but it's when the couple are both on medication and it's giving one of them cotton mouth and the other one analgasmia. Mm. So there's just like no fluid involved, if at all. I, I don't think, I don't think I can get Sullivan. Oh wait, there he is! Okay, okay. Oh, I feel so much better about myself, but I still hate that I did that. I really I love how Keldor's just chosen to completely ignore what I said. Uh, <laughs> yes, yes, I, I, I have definitely chosen that. Like, I don't want to think about that, reference that. I don't want to, I don't, I, I'm good, man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the more you know. Exactly. Some people appreciate learning. <laughs> <laughs> Some people. That's not the kind of things I was thinking I was going to learn today, but you know. <laughs> well, maybe you should be more open-minded and you won't be so surprised when you learn something. Oh, that term, open-minded. Ah, oh, yeah, that's the one I hear a lot. <laughs> that's, that's a good one. Ugh. <laughs> oh. That was a good laugh. <laughs> Guys, cancel Keldor. He's against dry jobs. Of all the things that I would be canceled for, 
<laughs> I, you know what? Oracle literally has. I, I sent Oracle my entire quote book because they basically made it entirely. Yeah. And they have so much, like, shit against me, pretty much, that I could be, like, canceled for. Never thought I would go out this way, you know? <laughs> yeah. here instead. Where is the Leshman? There he is. Yes, Oracle is the all-powerful, correct. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I saw a skit where this guy was talking about, uh, it's amazing how many people get cancelled and then they write news articles in several major news outlets about how they've been cancelled and then they write a book about it called I've Been Cancelled and put it in a biography and mm -hmm. then they go to talk about it on stage somewhere and then they get invited on TV to talk about how the, uh, the, their uh, entire career in entertainment and media has been ruined on all of these platforms. It's yeah. amazing how that happens. <laughs> it, it's so amazing how your life is ruined and you are making a scene. <laughs> Well, it's like that. That's the thing, though. It's like if if you're cancelled, you simply can't do that because no one will publish you. Yeah, like it defeats the entire <laughs> pur purpose of the cancelling. Yeah. I recently, unfortunately, I had. I'm not going to go into details on who it was or what had happened, but um, kind of like a, I, I would say a business of people that I really enjoyed on YouTube had recently gotten canceled and it made me so sad because like yeah. I absolutely loved watching their content and like, is it, uh, is it a pair of dudes with a camera? Uh, with, yeah. Wait, with a camera? Well, I mean, yeah, they do other stuff. I think I know who you might be talking about, though. They you play know. video games, too, mostly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they I have a podcast. You're talking you about. They, yeah, okay. But I was... They used to have another member. Long time ago. Um, no. Under, under a different name. No. Oh, okay. We might be thinking about different people that have been cancelled. Yes. <laughs> but... It does happen to be two dudes who kind of like branched off from a different company, went to their own thing, and ir irregardless, they, they kind of got wrapped into some bullshit that... Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I saw I saw some stuffs about. Yeah, it sounds very similar to the other situation. Interesting. Either that, or you are missing that they used to have a third member. <laughs> I, I I might be, but like, it, I didn't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Were they involved in a YouTube boxing event? Well, one of them. Oh, one of them definitely. The other one not. Yeah, we're thinking of the same people. Are we really? Yes, we are. Huh. Mm. Interesting. Yeah, you wouldn't have known about the other member unless you were watching all the way back in about 2013, 2014. Did you know that they were a part of another YouTube channel? Yes. They were editors? Uh... Ah... Uh, I... Yeah? D Maybe we're think thinking so. about different. <laughs> I'm not sure, then. Okay, okay. Well, we, we will uh, discuss after stream. Okay. But yeah, uh, I enjoyed watching them so much, and then they basically said that they were going to stop producing content because of how it affected them, which yeah. honestly makes me so sad, but it's completely like... I mean, wouldn't it be fine if they just, like, apologize with a ukulele? Uh, I mean, they made videos about apologies, but that was the last thing they did, but you know what? The theatrics of a ukulele wasn't there. Mm. No, the ukulele uh, just adds music in that can then be picked up by an ID system so you can copyright strike anybody who uses Correct. it. Correct. Correct. Yeah. I have seen that, and that is insanity. <laughs> that is actual insanity. It's fucking evil genius is what it is. Like, when I saw that that was being done, I was like, 
You clever little asshole. <laughs> I, it's it's a thing I would never have thought of. I, 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 um, I, I know I I'm not the most clever it, person. But but I would, I, if I was a dick. You know, it's... <laughs> and and you're, you tend to not be most of the time. Most of the time. I mean, you get on the bad side and it's like, I have to, like, calm myself a lot, you know? Correct, correct. Because uh, you are, like... It's not like people have pissed me off enough that I've, like been an irritation you're you're a very like um peaceful person when you can be i so i'm generally a peaceful person but i've got like very hard limits on things yes and i've got very strong boundaries on things and i react very strongly to those boundaries being crossed yeah you know um very sort of self defect uh protective in that way defective i mean also um but <laughs> <laughs> And uh, my, my boundaries are definitely, like, slightly further, like, the boundaries I communicate are always slightly further away than my, yes. my genuine closer boundaries, because I give myself a buffer to be able to communicate with people, because if I communicate exactly where my boundaries are, I'm already too emotionally affected to be able to communicate in a bad moment. Yeah. So. <laughs> that is fair. What would you say a strong skill of yours is? Hmm. How do I word it? Um. I think that uh, when I'm focused, I'm incredibly good at picking out details in almost anything. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, so you're very detail oriented, would you say? Um, I know it's not, not relatively it, the same thing you said, but yeah, like not not like all the time. But for example, like you know, I can very easily pick up on people's micro expressions and mm. on like the implications, and I can like read between the lines with people really easily. Um, so you're good at reading the room, pretty much. Sure, yeah, but like I I think that that also goes to like. I think that like when it when it comes to like interpreting some creative works as well, oh, I'm pretty good at okay. untangling okay. stuff like that. Yeah. Um, or at the very least, like, you know, I, I'm certainly capable of getting those things wrong. Yeah. Um, but I I think that I'm the way that I approach it, I'm like quite skilled in the analysis itself. That doesn't stop like missing information, of course. I, I'm I'm no mind reader or predictor. Right. But um, yeah, I, I think that, like, I'm quite good at deconstructing and analyzing things. Interesting. Uh, which, which it has its uses for, for many things. I'm definitely more of a destructive personality than a constructive personality. Yeah. Which is why, like, even a lot of the creative works that I make, um, I'm sort of, like, taking something that's already been established and mm. I break it down to be able to insert my own things into it. So, uh, and, and that works with, like, the content that I produce, you know, like, I, I've, I've written some stuff, it went well, but I, I found it incredibly taxing. Yeah. Um, so... You know, I'm, I'm usually finding another way to play a video game and make it something that's more interesting to stream. Right. And anything that I produce art-wise, I'm an image manipulator, not somebody who produces graphics. You know, so I'll, I'll take existing images and manipulate them to be able to produce the desired output. I, I, um, I, I feel that one on a spiritual level. Because, <laughs> like... I can do art thing. Like, I'm very similar in that aspect, but I can add a little bit of art to it. I need yeah, a yeah. reference photo. You know what I mean? Mm. I desperately I, need a reference photo. For me, like, I, I can't even, like, work from a reference photo. Like, I need yeah. the image to manipulate to produce the, the base of what I'm working on. Well, um, remember I, I the King really... of the Castle thing I, I drew for you? And the, the mob? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, they already have references for that. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And it's... So it's easy to, like, quote-unquote trace to make what I want from it. Yeah, see, I I think I do struggle with shapes quite a bit, but, like, I can just, like, use something that already has the shape that I want and manipulate that, you know? Uh, and that, that's always been the way that I approach things. I, I like, assemble elements yeah. when I do art, really. Uh, it's, it's, it's more of, like, a digital collage work, I suppose. Thanks, chat. Um, the digital painting, you know? Yeah. I get that. Um... 
But it, it, it gives me some insight for streaming, because, like, it doesn't directly translate to a streaming skill, but it does mean that, like, I'm able to witness what other people are doing and be able to generate original ideas based on what other people are doing by deconstructing not what they're doing, but why what they're doing works. Yeah. And it, in doing that, it can isolate, like, the necessary components of streaming sometimes. That if I'm focused oh. on, like, how do I present this thing to chat, like... Don't tell Ender, um, but they died. <laughs> and, uh, Ender, and, uh, you're dead. You died. Flip Oracle of Dusk. Yes. <laughs> Sunday, also. I, I read your text message. <laughs> Oracle working out who to DM right now. Yep, yep, immediately. Also, Sunday, I read your text message. I'm very proud of you, buddy. Good GG's. Good job. I'm very excited for you, buddy. I'm actually a little bit jealous myself. <laughs> and I will leave it vaguely like that. But actually, that... That kind of wraps up all my questions. Uh, you good if we uh, raid out? Yeah. Yeah. Did you uh, have any questions or did you want to make any comments, final words, final anythings? Um, I mean, not particularly. My brain's pretty shut off, to be honest. That's that's uh, fair. Yeah, it's, it's been a long day. <laughs> oh, I, 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 I can understand that after that conversation. But, uh, yeah. So, thank you everyone for coming. I appreciate everyone who's been here and all the helping that you've done, not the hindering. <laughs> there was a little bit of that today. But, thank you all for coming. This is always fun, and thank you, Kat, for being here and just hanging out and vibing. It's always a good time. Uh, it's, it's, it's been fun. 